Regimester 65. Should I hit play and watch it? What should I do? Put it on mute? You still got nothing? You guys got a drink poured? You guys gonna join me? All right. Hello. Hello, Swazzle Juice. I like your nickname. Daddy! I've learned what that means. Stop it. All right. Oh, kill, kill the sound. I, I can hear myself. So, guys, last time we had Jess here. Uh, keeping an eye on you and, and, and um, telling me what, you know, the good questions and interesting comments. And uh, this time I've got my boys, I've got my two dearest friends in the entire world, uh, Rashid, who you guys met in this last, um, this last week. We did the, the, um, the hot pepper challenge for ALS. Uh, he's here and my other dearest friend in the world, Sawyer. Uh, they are hanging out. It is their birthday recently. I'd love for you guys to wish them a happy birthday. Give it to me. Congrats on Twitch partner. I don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> they remember your date, dude. Yes. <laughs> See that? Oh my god. Yes, thank there you. There we go. Birthday boys. Thank you. We were born on the same day. They were born on the same day. Hour apart. Separated at birth. Do you guys want do you guys want to come up here real quick? Let's warm up a little bit. It's a long night. All right, guys. <laughs> it's a long night. We're just getting started. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, it's nice, guys. Thank you for wishing my, my friends a happy birthday. Oh, apparently, I've, I'm partnered with Twitch. Cool. <laughs> Didn't know that. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Let's uh, let's get started with uh, making some steak here. Yeah. So we're gonna start with I'm gonna start with the ribeye. I'm assuming you guys aren't making both. So anybody who is making a ribeye, we're starting here. I'm I'm seeing that the camera's a little soft focus. I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit. There we go. How's that? A little sharper. Okay. We're getting started with the ribeye. I'm gonna grab that out of the fridge. And oh boy, do I have a beautiful ribeye today. Hope you heard the sound then. Did your tender date experience the sort of dizzying effect of watching you on the way while she was talking to you? I don't think anybody like, knows that she was a tender date. <laughs> <laughs> Until now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Look at, look at that beauty. Look how thick that is. For Christ's sake. Well, it's droopy. <laughs> That's amazing. Hello, Trinidad. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, anybody following along at home? We are salting and peppering our beef. Here we go. I've got my kosher salt at the ready. A lot of people ask, why kosher salt? Why not table salt? Well, kosher salt is pinchable. See this? I can hold on to it. Nothing's coming out. And then I can control when it's coming out of my fingers. So you get better control over what you're doing. And also it is less salty than table salt because it is coarser. So it's more forgiving. If I dumped table salt on this, it might be salty as hell, honestly. So, wash my hand before I stick it back in there, even though germs cannot live in salt, so it's not really a concern. But people are watching, so I will be relatively sanitary. 
Especially because I'm gonna feed this to my to my birthday boys. Salt, 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 salt. Yeah, man, we're packing this in salt. Seriously, a lot of this is gonna come off in the cooking process. So. Oh, oh, somebody remembers laundry man. I actually held off on doing laundry all week because I wanted laundry man to come back. He is scheduled to arrive here between nine and ten p.m. Eastern, so expect him. He's coming. He go on the, on the camera when he came last time? No. <laughs> it's going to be a different guy every time, so really, I don't know why why we're into that, but whatever. All right, now we're hitting this with white pepper. Okay. We're pressing that in. I'm going to be doing that from the video. There we go. Laundry man. Laundry they remember man. all the man. they remember all the stuff from uh, from last week. Laundry man is back. It's gonna be a totally different guy. I see Wegmans. I've yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, Proudly from Rochester. Rochester I'm Pride. Rochester. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Which Wegmans? Which Wegmans? Yeah. yeah. We talking West New York or are Which you Wegmans? are you are you in Pennsylvania? Because that doesn't count. He says from Rochester. Yeah. He's not saying I live true, in true, Rochester. True, true. Yeah, yeah. It's for the bus. All right. True. See that, it's guys. True. This is this is coated in salt and pepper. This is gonna rest at room temperature for at least 30 minutes, okay? So I'm putting this aside. Tessel Craig. Did you say where he's from yet? Or what's going he's, on? No, I don't think so. I'm not very good at this, so uh he's at, he's at, say it multiple times. Genesee O'Pride. Genesee O'Pride. Somebody said that. Genesee O'Pride, yeah. Woo! The 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 what third the pizza place we used to get from in Genesee? Oh my god, I have no idea. Oh, come on. Uh, wait, no, it was it was a woman's name. It was a girl's name. Mi Mia's. Mia's. Was, was, was it Mia's? It was Mia's. Mia. It was Mia's. Mia's. Yeah, it was Mia's. Wow. That was the place in, in uh, at Doug's that we would get we would get pizza. Mia's. What up, Genesee? What up, Mia's? What up? Your babish will I be your babushka? Sure, fine. I'm already in Oma, so I don't know if that counts. Rockport. Rockport. Wow, we got some, we got some, our, we got some Rochester folk in here. This is awesome. Woo! Yeah, this, this could go on for. I hope this goes on for. Henrietta Wegmans, in my opinion. No, come on, Henrietta Wegmans. Give me a break. That's been not hasn't been renovated since the '70s. Seriously, Henrietta Wegmans. Give me a break. This may be maybe the worst one. Wegmans is a Wegmans. That's true. Not even. I take it back. Wegmans is a Wegmans. Y'all's Wegmans elsewhere aren't 24 hours. I didn't even know that. They close? Yeah, they close. That's terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay, so because we have a lot... Not enough people in here are paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tessel Craig. What do you say? Should, hey, hey guys, to... guys, 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 I, I got to do a little bit of co actual cooking for a second. Uh, so wow. because I've got guests here and because uh, the, the steak needs to rest, I'm also going to make some potatoes. This was not in the video, but this is going to be an easy little recipe that's... Uh, you might probably don't have fingerlings on hand, but next time you do, super easy way to make some crispy smashed potatoes. All right, back to the Rochester love. Please. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, sure. Chi I haven't been to that chai I, I, I don't know if it's new or nice. I don't know anything about it. Can you, can you hear Sawyer and Rashid, guys? Can you hear them? I mean, they are telling us which wagons they go to, so. What? Yeah, wagons in New Jersey are definitely not 24 hours. Casual businessman, you're right. But I did go to one, I went to the one out near Freehold, and it was very nice. All right, so a little bit of salt. We're covering this with cold water. Yes, we can hear. We can hear. <laughs> hey, we have a little bit for sure. Close this one through. A little splash of white vinegar, okay? This is going to help the potatoes retain their structure, even though we're, we're smashing them. This is going to help them keep them from falling apart. Jules Tepper, go Tigers. And I'm going to cook these for 10 minutes, okay guys? Go Tigers, yeah. Okay. Um, I guess in the meantime, we have, you know, we have 30 minutes to kill. Maybe I should uh, start making, you know, start making skirt steak. But I was thinking we'd do that while the steak is in the oven because it's going to take like 45 minutes. 
Probably should have salted it before we started, I'm thinking. Next time. We'll do that next time. Black bars. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's happening. I'm not a, 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 an adept streamer. Make some cocktails? No, this is really good, really, really good scotch. I'm not going to mess with this. Isn't this a beautiful glass, too? It's huge. I'm drinking Glenfiddich 15, this guy right here. It's beautiful. Highly recommend it. Yeah, that's the scotch that got me into scotch. So, near and dear to my heart. Lagavulin 16 is a bottle of burning tires. Close the cabinet, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I love the eagle eyes out there, that's awesome. All right, let's do a little, uh, let's do a little mise en place. Let's talk Rochester and do a little mise en place. I'm going to preach out my shallots. It's a good way to start, have things done and out of the way. What knife to use today, guys? The Vustoff or the Vustoff? <laughs> I'm not sponsored. Let's see. Let's do the Icon. I like this guy. This is my favorite right here. Okay, let us mince a shallot. Yeah. What's being said over there? I can't look while I'm cutting. Are you playing Switch over there? No, it's just uh, the... Oh, go hammers. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so, so once in a while, how often we get your knives sharpened? Oh, I um, professionally sharpened, I would say, you know, once every few months. And then I sharpen myself with a, with a wet stone whenever I can. Um, I highly recommend getting stone, but I understand also... Whoa, that's a slippery shell. <laughs> No, yeah, no, it's a solid, like, uh, I don't know, 10 second delay. What temperature are you preheating your oven to? Um, that is 225. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, they love it. Five second rule. Recipe shallot. <laughs> All right, let's do a fresh shallot just because we're on, we're on TV right now. Ooh. Always get two shallots. Always. Because generally, shallots. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, press that to pay respects. Press that to pay respects. <laughs> I would say always get two. If you need one shallot, always get two because generally one out of every ten is going to be spoiled. So try and get two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what am I missing over there? My face in the shot. Oh god, my face is in the shot. Oh Jesus. Right here at this point, yeah. Mustn't have that. Yeah. I'm kidding. People know what I look like nowadays. Doesn't matter. I was kind of trying to hide it. People want to buy babish aprons. Babish aprons, babish gear. Babish aprons are coming, guys, because I love these aprons so much, and I wanted to get like, like a little BWB right here, like like Lacoste style, just like a tiny little logo, you know, just in the corner. I think that'd be cool. What's up with these gloves? What gloves? These. Oh, oh, yeah, hand me those. Toss me one. I don't want to make any promises, guys. I don't want to make any promises. I'd love to see what you think of these, okay? Tell me what you think. A little prototype here. Yeah? You guys want, you, you, you guys into this? It's on both sides, oddly enough. What do we think? Send it back. Oh. Nice. Wow. That's an exclusive first look. Twitch. Twitch users only. Twitch users only. Combo apron and gloves, absolutely, yeah. Keep you from cutting your fingers off and cut a shallot. Yeah, it would, but you wouldn't be able to touch the shallot. That'd be crazy. 
Ooh, my eyes, boys. We're getting we're getting some of those tears right now. Getting those getting those onion tears. Ooh. So let me ask you guys something. How does this compare to watching like trucker simulations? Ooh, good question. Yeah. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's Anybody get. Anybody out there play trucker sims? <laughs> I guess maybe maybe not. <laughs> Oh, a lot of crying. Is that bad? Did yeah. I say something bad? Oh, it's the onion. Oh, it's the onion. Oh, yeah, thank you. No, yeah, that's me. They're coming. More there. dapper than Trucker Sims streamers. streamers that's not very hard. I mean, that, you know, I, I would hope that goes without saying, but thank you. Needs more Kona? What is that? Trucker Sims in 2017, well. Alright, maybe this is an old joke. Maybe it's dated. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's a, maybe people don't play anymore? I guess not. Make some emotes. What's that mean? I think they're like emoticons, but with my. They're like custom to this channel. Really? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Somebody correct me. Is that true? This is great. We get to ask was, immediately the audience. Was, was Babish a gamer when he was younger? A gamer? Yeah, was Babish a gamer when he was younger? Yeah, I'm, I'm a graphics horror, so no. <laughs> I would only go for the AAA titles. <laughs> I mean, that's a gamer. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, sh a shitty gamer. You know, a really bad gamer. All right. I don't have to do this right now, but, you know. Emos. We're shopping stuff. So we, we got Emos. our shell. <laughs> People want that. How do we make emotes, Emos. guys? Help me out. How do we make them? What do we do? We'll make them right now. I got two people at the ready. There's no way we're going to be able to make emotes. It does sound out of our skill set, honestly. And got a subscribe button. You can enable custom emoticons for channel subscribers. Oh, enable so then people can make their own. Literally, literally walk him through how to do that. And I, I want him to do it right now. Literally, just tell him what settings to go into, what to do. And he's right. and he's gonna change it right now. Happy birthday, am I right? Yeah, happy birthday to you, bitch. Are you a food partner or affiliate? You don't know. I don't know, honestly. Do not yeah. know. Should know. Don't know. All right, I'm gonna fuck everything. Up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Everyone has to subscribe in the next ten minutes, or just go subscriber only. Oh no. <laughs> you're gonna alienate the audience. You're gonna alienate. This is a this is an alert. Hack, hack alert. <laughs> That's it. These are my demands. <laughs> hack alert. Somebody just subscribed with Twitch Prime. That's a good sign. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hack down. Hack down. <laughs> hack down. It's done. It's over. Back to normal. Stand down. Good, good, good job, everyone. We got two new subscribers. Hell yeah. Well, bam. How do you pick, <clears throat> someone wants to know how you pick a good skirt steak. Well, let's take a look at a good skirt, skirt, steak, skirt steak, shall we? I don't know how to do any of this stuff. It's not in here. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I need this food for good questions every once in a while. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's look at a good skirt steak. This one is beautiful. Now, people are going to freak out if I put meat on the same cutting board as the onions and, and lemons. So, I'll go ahead and put this on a plate. Everything is safe. All right. So, what I've got here, first of all, the color is good. It's nice and deeply red. It's really fatty. You can see some, some skirt steaks, especially grass-fed ones, tend to be sort of uh, deep red and not fatty enough. And it's nice and thick. Look at the thickness of that. I mean, okay, that's folded over. Hang on a second. Still, it's nice and thick. That's a good thickness for a skirt steak. Probably like a solid, you know, half to three quarters of an inch. Like, I need it. I need it thick enough that I can make it medium rare. Because if it's too thin, you're gonna overcook it no matter what. So we got this guy here. I'm gonna divvy him up in a second. First, I'm gonna get rid of these and wash my hands so we're not gonna cross contaminate. Very important. Don't want any cross con contamination out there. Oh, it's zombie subscribed. Very nice, thank you. Thank you for subscribing, it's zombie. 
so much thick. So much thick? Thick. Thick, 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 thick. thick. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, God, so many sexual content. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the lemons aside. It's it's and another important tip use the back of your knife to scrape, not the front of your knife. This is bad for the blade. Use the back of your knife. Um, I have a question when you're ready. I'm, I'm ready. Can you ask them if I enable uh, followers only chat? Is that a separate chat or does that make this chat followers so, only? All right, so if, if Sawyer enables followers only chat, does that make a separate chat or does that make this chat that we're in right now followers only? Thank you. If you didn't hear him, which you probably did. Same chat makes this chat. Not separate. Yeah, no, all right, okay. All right, all right thank, you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're not going to do that then. Thank you, thank you. Call off your dogs. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. That's great, that's great. Thanks, yeah. thanks, thanks. This is got a it, helpful got community. It, got it, got it. Thank you. Yeah, there's a delay. Give them a break. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So another thing I'm going to do is trim these so they fit in my pan. And these little bits I'll probably have for breakfast in the morning or something with eggs, you know? It's heavy, you know? If anybody gets that, I'll be stunned. Boy, I hope so. So we got two steaks here, good and thick, that will fit into my pan. That's what's really important. Don't want them crowded. Don't want them, you know, touching the edges. We want them exposed to the heat, and we want them not touching each other. Because if they touch each other, that makes steam, and that prevents us from building a crust. So these need to not be touching when they're in the pan, okay? Let's season these guys up. Remember, because skirt steak is so thin, we're just seasoning one side. Because if you season both sides, it'd be extremely salty. So ju just season one side, it's gonna be fine. And we're gonna put it in the steak, in the pan, non-seasoned side down. Unseasoned side, you might even call it, down. Because that's gonna give the opportunity for the salt to absorb into the meat while it's cooking, and we'll lose less in the cooking process. If we put it salt side down, we're gonna lose a lot from it sticking to the pan. Healthily salting. There we go. Black pepper. How am I doing on time here? Okay, the ribeye has been resting for about 15 minutes now. So in about 15 minutes, we'll, we will be putting it into the oven. We're gonna have a lot of time for conversation because it's gonna be 45 minutes where this steak is sitting in the oven. And uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find find out some things about each other. You know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna explore some topics that might not be comfortable, but that's what this is about. You know, this is this is this is journalism. You know. Okay, moving this to the side. There we go. Way it goes. All right. Who's got any questions so far? I'd love to hear any any questions you have about what we're doing or about anything in the world. Rochester trivia, Fraser trivia. Um, uh, you know, awkward steak first date. I'm sorry, dude. How do you cook steak in an apartment without setting off the fire alarm? I will tell you, uh, I can't condone this because it is unsafe, but it is what I do. I unplug the fire alarm while I'm cooking steak because it will set it off. There's no way to do it without setting off your fire alarm because the only way to make a good steak is to sear it. You need, you need heat you need high heat and that's going to generate smoke no matter what so you, you you gotta you know just be very responsible deal with your fire alarm going off or if you can't deal with it i'm not condoning this but unplug it uh if if you're going to plug it in right back in as soon as you're done okay be safe cheers safety all right what do we got what kind of watches do you wear this is a hawthorne it's um it's a startup company and uh, and it's a nice I like minimal watches here let me uh, do a rack focus here oh look at that that's cool right that's production value when I adjust the focus we should probably check it out there we go check focus.
just go right here. There we go. What's up? What else we got here? Do you like Frasier or Niles more? Damn, dude. How, how, how have we never asked ourselves that question? I mean, you always kind of have to. I mean, maybe internally, but I've never said it out loud. Um, I like I like Niles more by yeah, by Country Mile. Yeah, yeah. Um, Frazier is obviously an enduring classic, but uh, Niles is really an incredible invention. Um, Why did you choose to stream Twitch over you, your YouTube channel? Um, I want you know as as a, as an internet creator, you want to diversify as much as possible. You want to just like you know be be a part of as many platforms as possible, and Twitch is trying to make more content and, and branch out into new areas. And I like being a part of that. I like being a part of uh, their expansion. Um, what kitchen scissors do I recommend? Uh, I can't recommend a, a specific brand, maybe OXO, but like something really strong. You need something like oh, shears. Look for something that looks like garden shears. That's what you need to get through like the spine of a turkey. You need, you need shears to get something strong. Oh, we got, we got settings here. Go to dashboard, partner settings, scroll down. See that? No, where? Apollo oh, for I the win. I see it. Go to dashboard, partner settings, scroll down to the chat section. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where, where is it? All right, I got potatoes boiling in the background here. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, let's keep wrapping here. Can you cook? Without pants. Dashboard partner settings. Okay, I'll try to find the dashboard partner settings. Uh, everybody's saying that he, he, he did the, the right thing. Any new tattoos? I've got new tattoos coming uh, in the next uh, the next week or so. I've, I've been wanting to get a couple for a long time. Right here, you know, opposite this side, I'm going to get uh, this guy. Hang on. I'm sure you guys remember this. Yeah, one of the most important spaghetti plating tools in the world, and also carving beef. Really, it's a, it's a carving fork, but it's indispensable for plating up pasta. And I want to get this guy, not that big, obviously, but I want to get him about half size right up here, maybe with a twirl of pasta around the end. Um, you know, can we do a poll or something? Yeah, probably not, but it'd be cool if I could do a, a poll where it'd be like with or without pasta on there. Um, and also, uh, I, <laughs> I'd love to get your guys' opinion of this. Uh, you know how a lot of like sorority girls will um, get uh, a tattoo that's an, an infinity symbol that says live, laugh, love on it? Well, I want to get an infinity symbol that says soup, salad, breadsticks. And I want to get it right back here, right opposite my, my Fraser tattoo. Straw poll. That's where we do a poll. All right. Yep. Okay. Positive. Positive. Yeah, cheesy. I know it's cheesy. <laughs> All right. How are our potatoes doing? Let's take this. Suggestions for brunch in New York City or New Jersey? Oh, my God. Um, if you're willing to go as far as anywhere in New York City or New Jersey, uh, come up to my, my, my area. I'm not going to say, uh, you know, how close I am to it, but... Uh, uh, there's a place called um, BLVD, or uh, Boulevard uh, Bistro, down at, uh, what is that, like 122nd and, and Malcolm X, yeah. I think? Yeah. And they have a fantastic brunch. Best French toast I've ever had. Chicken and waffles, amazing. Um, uh, I, I, every time I've gone there, I've been blown away by the food there. So BLVD Bistro is amazing. There's a lot of great stuff up here in Harlem. A lot of, a lot of new restaurants, a lot of old, you know, standbys. Sylvia's is, is, is nearby. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, lot, lots of great places to check it out. Okay. How do you take your eggs? Runny. Very runny. Still chirping. Okay. Oh, what are we doing next here? Uh, how, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> how about we, how about we uh, get ready to sear some stuff? I'm going to get the old induction bird out here. You guys know this guy, right? He's been on many an episode. 
He's starting to show his age. Gotta plug this in in a way that looks good. Besides Vanish, what is your favorite Westman character? Oh my god, I mean, Bartlett, obviously. Who else is it gonna be? His wife? No. His wife. <laughs> Abby? No. Um, uh, Toby, for sure. Toby Ziegler is probably my favorite, besides President Bartlett. I love Worth It. I think Worth It is honestly a great exploration of some really ridiculous food, uh, food stuffs that I would like to know more about and didn't know existed. So I actually I really like Worth It. Charlie, Charlie's not the best best character. Let's let's make this very clear. Dennis is the best character. Okay, let's make that abundantly clear. Dennis is the best character. Short, how, how do you do? How do you do shorter slow mode, guys? How do you do it? I've done a West Wing episode. I did um, I did uh, to to Mont du Salt and Beak. Uh, check it out. I've done one. What else am I gonna do from West Wing? Yeah, Toby. You know, I was saying Toby's my f second favorite behind President Bartlett. How could you put anybody ahead of President President Bartlett? He's the man. Go 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 search uh, YouTube for um, Bartlett jacket flip supercut. And it's just a, a, a supercut of every time he flips his jacket on. Because he doesn't put it on normally. He, like, flips it over his head. And uh, it's, it's very funny to watch. CJ is great. I think uh, we have a b the biggest CJ fan over here. Rashid is a CJ fan. The Jackal. The Jackal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, any deep West Wing fans the over there? Jackal. The Jackal. The Jackal. They made such a big deal about the jackal, and she just she just talked for like two seconds. She was just like the jackal, and oh, is CJ doing the jackal? <laughs> it's not. It wasn't cool. It wasn't good. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna do skirt steak first. That'll be our appetizer, and then we'll have potatoes. The dashboard is on the drop down menu in the top right. <laughs> I don't. I, I I figured that much out. But then I went into it, and uh, it was very hard to figure out when I came back. All right, guys. So to lube up the pan, I'm going to use grapeseed oil. It's a very high smoke point oil. Uh, you can use canola or vegetable, but this guy has a smoke point that's, that's higher than most oils. So I prefer it because less smoke that way. I'm putting maybe, I don't know, a tablespoon and a half in there. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan without it, you know, Cooling without it be, being too much oil. Once I heat this up, it's going to evenly coat the bottom of the pan. Just you wait. I'm going to heat this up hot. We need that heat, you know? And I'm going to open up the wine, cooking wine. I have a Cabernet Sauvignon here. Let me get the wine key. Top what? Top tier. I don't know. Top tier by Comfort. What does that mean, guys? What does top tier mean? Top tier by Comfort. Official. A thousand. Do you prefer stainless or cast iron? I guess I prefer cast iron because it better distributes heat, and it also it just looks better. It looks more badass. I have just off camera here. I have my cast iron ready to go. For the big guy, for the big steak later on. Anywho, let's pop open our wine. Wow. Oh God. The wine spatter, no big. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, see that? It's evenly coating the bottom of the pot. I can smell it's just starting to get very close to smoking, and that's what we want. They really want to know how to take care of cast iron. I, I'll do a tutorial on cast iron. Okay, I know it's I know it's it's complicated and scary. Um, I was scared by it for a long time. What sucks about this induction burner is that its radius of heating is very very narrow. That, maybe that's why I prefer cast iron, because it takes that heat and it redistributes it a little. See, it's smoking now. That's what we're after, guys. 
A little bit of smoke, just wisps of smoke. And lay these guys down, just like that. Mm. Beautiful. And you know, these are these are you know these are gonna these are gonna cook very quickly. So I want nice high heat in my tongs. Here we go. Tongs right here. Let me get the butter out of the fridge just so we're ready. Always pay attention to your meat on glass. All right. We got our butter here for a bit later. Let's get over here. You could make it a screen table with that and dry it with a nice bag. What? Add this to the screen table. Oh, the, the, the sizzling? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, actually. Now, see, if I tried to pick it up right now, it would stick. It would not come off the pan. But I'm letting it sit and I'm letting it form a crust. It needs to stick and then pull away from the pan. And this is kind of a matter of learning uh, when it does that. And it, just because I want us all to be on the same page here, I'm grabbing my thermos pen. Actually, I have, a, hang on, I have a newer one. All right, that's my potatoes. So while this is going, I'm going to drain the potatoes real quick just because I want to get that out of the way. Okay guys, potatoes are draining. And these, I can already tell they're starting to lift off the bottom pot. See that? They're coming right off without any complaints. we got a beautiful crust forming there. I'm going to let it go a little bit longer. You see, it's not even putting up a fight. You can see the crust is building up there. Let's keep that going for a while longer. You can see there's a lot of fat. These are really fatty uh, pieces of, uh, of, of um, stir steak that I got here. So I'm going to get a little closer to the mic so you can hear me because there's a lot of sizzling. Uh, very fatty pieces of skirt steak, so there's a lot of fat building up in the bottom here. And we're going to need to get rid of some of that without getting rid of our fawn. So we're going to dab at it with paper towels. That's going to help a lot. Okay. Yep. What's up? ASMR. Yeah, I've been told I should do ASMR. I'm all set, though. Thank you, though. Oh, look at that. I mean, am I right? Come on. I mean, come on. Now, you need this guy for carving, so I'm gonna... Actually, no, I have another one, so I'm gonna put it on the side. Clean off the knife. White Hots. White Hots and a cheeseburger. Alright, let's check the temp on these. That was the thickest part. Right, see, we're still registering like 104, 105. This guy's thinner though, so we got to keep an eye on him. Let's get right into the thickest part of this guy. Whoa! Even lower. 92, wow. All right, these guys got to hang out a little bit. So This is good. We're going to get a really good crust on both sides of these, uh, of these steaks. Ooh, oil is just getting everywhere. There's no good or clean or quiet or non-smoke detector triggering way to make steak. you gotta, you got to make a mess. Oh, yeah, look at that. Great crust for me on both sides of these.
Once a really good press starts to form on this other side, I'm going to flip them again. Contrary to what you've read on the internet, there's no rules about flipping things. It doesn't make it lose any juiciness or anything like that. You flip things as much as you want. If you don't believe me, look up J. Kenji Lopez Alt. He knows what he's talking about, for real. I, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm just a, 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 uh, a disciple of his. What delivery service do I use? What does that mean? Yeah, shout out to Kenji all day. All right, look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful press in this. Look at that. Woo! Gorgeous. All right, let's take a look here. How are we doing? These are going to come up to temperature real fast. They're still in the hundreds here. Oh, this guy's getting closer, though. They're really getting to the thickest part here. That's right about where I want to be, honestly. 115. So I like this pretty bloody. Let's get him up to 115. Because he's going to, you know, steaks after, once you take them out of the heat and let rest them, they're going to come up another 5, 10 degrees. So always shoot under where you're trying to get. Very important. That's right about where I want to be, right there. 115. Let's take them off. You're coming off, my friend. Woo! Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that fun. Look at the fun that we're building there. Now, I don't want to burn that. I'm going to move this guy right on top of it. Having having something on top of it is going to keep. It's going to help keep it from burning. This guy's coming up to temp too. 115. Yeah, I'm getting 115 in the thickest parts right here. That's what I'm after. Okay, let's take them off. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, killing the heat on this. Heat is off, okay? Because I don't want this to burn. This is flavor country right here. I don't want that to burn. So. Using my tongs, a lot of oil all over the place. Using my tongs, I'm going to get rid of some of this fat. Just lightly come through here. Not all of it. We don't have to get rid of all of it. We need a little bit. I have my trash right here, just FYI. I'm not stuffing that into the floor. Okay. Flavor Town. Flavor Town. Well, welcome to Flavor Town, boys. All right, now I'm heating it back up. Got a little bit of fat in there. That's exactly what I want. Now I'm going to take my shallots, dump them in. Okay, I got this over medium heat because I don't want to burn the shallots. I don't want to burn the fun. Is that moving? We're just cooking for one or two minutes here because, we, again, we don't want to burn the fun. Don't want to brown the shallots. Just want to soften them a little bit, you know? They're going to keep cooking once we add the, the deglazing liquid. Oh, there's so much flavor in this pot right now. It's not even funny. Flavor tab. Flavor tab. That's apparently my new catchphrase. Okay. Now, good glug of red wine. Once these, you know, I'm seeing that these shallots, it's been maybe about a minute now, I'm seeing the shallots are starting to become translucent around the edges. It means that they're softening up a little bit. That's all we're trying to do here. So, deglaze, some red wine, maybe about that much. Vote on the tattoo idea. <laughs> what's, the, what's the vote? And now, not using these tongs because they're doing a bad job. Using this wooden spoon. So I'll do. I'm gonna scrape up all that good stuff off the bottom of the pot. It's 
so you can see that it's all coming up. It's also an efficient way to clean a pot when you have stuff that's like burnt on. Throw some water in there and boil it. Everything comes right off. And that's essentially the same principle here. Like I'm using some liquid, hot liquid, to get all that stuck stuff off the bottom of the pan. And we put it in there right before it was starting to blacken. It was, it was, just, it was just nice and brown. And that's just pure flavor. So now we're going to let this reduce. I want this to reduce down until it's just really thick and just barely coating the bottom of the pan. And then we're going to add some butter and some lemon juice because it's going to be very rich and we want to add some acidity that's going to cut through all that richness, okay? Uh, gas versus induction, very tricky question. Like, I love induction, but it's also very, it's like, it's like, um, I don't know, it's like analog versus digital. Like, it, it, the, 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 there's, there's a feeling that you get with gas. Like, you just have, you feel what is going on and what's supposed to happen and this just like it happens you're going to see that it's it's simmering right now and now it just stopped see that it's because the induction is turning on and off to to be at medium temperature because it's either on or off there's no like middle ground maybe on nicer induction in, induction cookers there is we can see that it just starts it's simmering right now ready and stop and it stopped and now it's back on again so there's a precision, there's a robotic precision to, to induction that I like, but also there's a feel to gas that, uh, you know, you, you can't really, yeah, pure flavor, flavor town. What does VAC mean? Uh, ca cast iron versus carbon steel. Carbon steel is a pain in the ass, honestly. I don't see what the, I don't see what the benefit is. Maybe I just don't get it. All right, see, this is getting pretty thick here. It's starting to, to coat the bottom of the pan. It's starting to, to have a hard time moving around. I want it really thick, though. Then we're going to add butter, and we're going to add lemon juice, then we're going to reduce that down until it is a sauce. Okay? Thank Rose for sending that link about the uh, broadcast. Thank you, Rose. Thank you for sending the link about broadcasting. I've just been told that that was very helpful. Um, you know, while this is reducing, this is pretty much where I want it to be right now, actually. So never mind. I was going to put the uh, the other steak in the oven, but for now, let's focus on this. I'm going to put in a solid, you know, metric shit ton of butter, I would say. That much. Like, almost three tablespoons. About equal to what I'm seeing in the pan. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to double up the, the matter in this pan. Okay, use the butter. Oh, that's good butter too. I'm not sponsored by these guys. Kate's butter is so amazing. It's just like, it tastes sweet and creamy and awesome. I love it. And look at that. We're, get, we're already getting this amazing thick pan sauce. It's going to be so good on the richness of the steak. This is super rich. And then we're going to put the lemon in there. It's going to cut through everything. What do we got? No, unsalted butter. Never salted butter. Let me make that emphatically clear. Never salted butter. Um, because you want to control the seasoning. You want to control how salty things are. Okay? You don't want somebody else deciding that for you. Oh, look at that. Look at how thick and gorgeous. And I wish you guys could smell this. I hope if you're making this at home, I hope you can smell what's happening right now. This is really magic. We're getting some really buttery, you know, meaty wine. A lot of great things going on. All right, see that we got a nice thick pan sauce, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut through it with this juice of one lemon. And the way I like to juice lemon is like this, just like loose fingers. You know, I'm catching all the seeds. I'm catching. Oh, I just dumped them in there. Okay, <laughs> trying to show you guys. I, I I just dumped them in. One seed. I'll get them out. Come here. Hey, eh, one seed. No problem. And, uh, you know, you can do half a lemon. I like a really nice bright sauce, so I'm going to do a whole lemon, pretty much. There we go. And we're reducing this down again. One more time. Getting down to a nice, thick, saucy consistency.
I'm sorry I volunteered you for the, for those settings things, Jake. Are you alright? <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't been able to do it. Oh, I know. Do, do, are, how are you now, doing? Now I'm just looking at your whispers. My whispers? What is yeah, that? I don't know. Are you guys whispering at me? What does that mean? Is it like daddy thing? No, I don't think it's like a daddy It's like a daddy shit. thing. I think it's like a daddy thing. Oh, God, I've opened up Pandora's box. It's just, what, it's like, it's like DMs? They're sliding into the DMs yeah. right now? Oh, look at that. Guys, come on. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look, it's glistening like fucking diamonds. Let me do that again. Seriously. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's incredible. How can you look at that and not get super, super hungry? And that's why my boys are here. They're going to help me eat all this steak. We've got so much meat here. All right. That's about where I want it to be. So I'm killing the heat. Yeah. Hit up those whispers. As you see this, the salt has been totally absorbed in the steak. Well, you see there's pepper. That's just, the salt has been absorbed in the steak. There's a little bit of moisture on top there. It's going to be reabsorbed back into the meat. Okay, we're putting this in the oven. 225 degree oven, about 45 minutes. I'm going to take its temperature at about 35, okay? Yeah, you got you to acknowledge your subs. My subs? You've got to acknowledge your subs. What's up, subs? Thank yeah. you guys for subbing. I love you so much. You guys mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to me if anybody who isn't subbed would sub, but anybody who is subbed, you guys are fucking champions, okay? One more time. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Give me a break. Okay. Let us plate up, shall we? That's our sauce. It is done. Sub hype! We can thank Sawyer for that. Uh, no, you can thank Ravelance. I can thank Ravelance. Ro Ro we can thank Ravelance for that. Thanks, Ravelance. Okay, let's get rid of all that fat. I'm gonna plate this up here on a, you know, like a plate. Okay. I'm gonna pull this over here so you can see what I'm doing. Now, while these were resting, we lost a little bit of juice. That's normal. But just so it doesn't spill all over my countertop, I'm going to mop it up a little bit. You don't have to do this, but I just, I'm just trying to prevent a mess here. This is going to go everywhere. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's carve, shall we? See how these came out. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that, huh? It's a nice thin steak, but we got it to a nice pink. I mean, I would almost call this a medium, but it's like a medium, medium rare. Like it's it's halfway, I'd say. It's it's it's. You know, I could take it a little rarer, but I'm trying to cook for a crowd here, guys. You know, so I'm gonna put that right on the plate. Oh, now that's where it's at, right there. Look at that. A little bit thicker. That's where we're at. That's my that's my jam right there. I don't care who you are, that's medium rare right there. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna eat this piece. Mm. Oh. Always eat the end pieces, because this is the this is the bit that looks pretty right here. Keep that, eat this. Chef's secret. Mm. This, I bet, is going to be overcooked because it's so thin. Yeah, see, this, this is so thin. Could not prevent it from overcooking. It's still going to be good, though, because the beauty of skirt steak is that it's very, very forgiving. Even if you overcook it some, it's going to still be tender and flavorful because it loves you. And, you know, I don't want to ruin the plate, though. Honestly, the plate's looking so good with all the medium rare. I honestly don't want, I don't want to ruin it. So that's, that's a chef's snack right there. This bit, I bet, is going to be better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Huh? What, what if you don't have red wine? What's a good replacement? Can you use Riesling or Chardonnay? You can totally do a white wine pan sauce with steak. I just prefer red wine because it's so rich. I would stay away from the acidity. I would stay away from the lemon. 
If you're going to do that. Um, oh, yeah, that fan's off. That's so helpful. Thank you, fan, for stopping being a jerk. Okay. So, I'm going to fan this out just a little bit so we can see a little bit more rare. I want to see that pink. I don't know if that sounds weird. Okay. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to mop that up a little bit. You got to. If you're trying to plate nice, you know, you get, you gotta you gotta check your your dribbles, okay? You gotta check your dribbles. Mustn't have dribbles. There we go. That's the laundry guy. You guys hear that? It's the laundry guy. Five minutes early no less. Five minutes early. Okay, now we're saucing this. You know, we can, now that we actually have food done, we can offer some to the laundry guy if he wants to try it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, mama. Get out of here. Can't say I blame him. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> if that were me, I certainly wouldn't want to do it. That's nuts. Yeah, that was chill. <laughs> so it's cool. He, uh... There we go. Oh, my God. Laundry guy. Who says no? He didn't see it. He didn't actually see the Laundry dish. Man. Whoa, that was slippery. I'm just going to leave shit on camera just then. Herbs. Herbs, boys. Okay. Now to fix a little bit of a uh, you know a, 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 a leaky plating, this is a great solution. Voila! Look at that. Tell me you you didn't just go to Tuscany in your mind. Get out of here. A little bit more. And there we go. Skirt steak with a red wine pan sauce. For you, ooh, a little, little bit of liquid there. And now I'm gonna go serve this to the birthday boys. Let's see what they think. The big steak in at, uh, at 225 degrees, and I'm gonna I'm gonna chomp down on my chef snacks here. Wine. Bon appetit, boys. Mm. Hmm. Oh, I love a good skirt steak. It's becoming more and more expensive because people are catching on to the fact that's really good. As our most butcher cuts, like like hanger steak. Apple tea. <laughs> so 
Somebody say bone apple teeth. Bone apple teeth. <laughs> bone apple teeth. Bone. Good apple teeth. Hmm. So this is what you get to do as the chef. Make yourself a little snacks. Make sure everything is seasoned well. Hmm. Be honest, gentlemen, what do you think? Well, don't ask Betty. <laughs> this is fantastic. What? Great. I'm just still laughing at bone apple tea. Bone apple Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bone apple tea. Get better ones. Get different ones. Yeah, all, the, all the different kinds. It's a funny word. Bone apple tea. <laughs> Babish laundry guy. Babish laundry guy. Nice man. Just wipe the pan out with the steak? What do you mean, like, you know, like this? Oh, yeah. That sate you? All right, guys. So, I'm going to clean this off real quick, okay? Because I want to use it to carve our bigger steak later on. And then let's start making some potatoes, yeah? All right, guys, excuse me for one minute while I clean the knife and the board, okay? Mmm, mm -mm -mm. mm, that's good. Sorry guys, I had to, you know, go do something else, uh, not peeing. Piss. Wasn't peeing, so uh, sorry about that. I had to go somewhere else and not not pee anywhere. Oh, whew, what a relief though. Whatever I did was that it was just a oh, it's a huge load off my so my shoulders. Okay, let's get to work on some potatoes. Responsible way to do it is to put it in a container and drive it to your dump and say this is cooking oil. And uh, 
It's a whole process. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I wish I could. But I can't and I won't. Okay. So, these potatoes boiled for about 10 minutes. What am I doing? Just dump them out. There we go. Now, oh, lost one. No, this is going to be integral to what we're doing here. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Is this cool? Are we, are we good? Okay. Here we go. Now, pay attention to this part, because if you don't see what I'm doing, you're going to lose a finger. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're done. We're done with that joke. Um, okay, so I need this guy for frying potatoes, and I need this guy for smashing potatoes, just as important. So this is also a, I don't know if Kenji invented this recipe, but he definitely popularized it. I've seen it elsewhere, so I don't, that's why I say I don't know if he came up with it, but we're smashing potatoes. See that? That's going to be a crispy freaking potato right there. So I'm just going to keep squishing these down like that. Whoa. Not so much that they come apart, okay? We want, to, we want them to stay together in one elite unit. What? What now? Well, we're just going to watch the show that we're going to eat the food at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> there is like a 10 second delay and there's a huge reflector right here over here that you can't see and it's blocking me from them so they can't actually see what's going on so they're getting everything on a delay oh look at that look at that boys I keep saying boys because I've been watching Trailer Park, Park Boys way too much recently. Yeah, boys. Come on, boys. What do you think we should do tonight, boys? Do that, boys. Ricky, you, oh, rest in peace. Uh, 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 Seriously. J Jim Leahy. Jim Leahy. Sexy Julian with your sexy shirt. <laughs> Ship puppets. Only angry at other ship puppets. They're not angry at us, Randy. Randy? <laughs> Mr. Leahy! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're still crushing potatoes here. Little guys, we're just going to crush a little bit. We want them to be all about the same thickness, so don't crush the little guys too much. It's going to be commensurate with the size of the potato. It needs to be a commensurate crush. between red potato and white? Uh, the Gorilla J. Absolutely right. nothing. Not even color. Nothing's different. Nothing. Uh, th 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 these, are, these are technically yellow potatoes, I would call them. These are Yukon potatoes. Fingerly Thick. potatoes are kind of Yukon potatoes. Thickness. Thick. Thickness. Thick. Is it thickness? It's th <laughs> Thick. Thick. <laughs> Is it thickness? No, there's a big difference in thickness between oh, red and yellow. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I always started something. All right, I'm putting down a healthy layer of oil here. Okay. I want like a solid half inch of oil on the bottom of this pan. We're practically deep frying these. They're almost like like squishy French fry. I don't know. There's there's something. Heating this up. Try and center this a little bit more so you can see what's going on. What? I have another question. What's that? Does that have to do with thickness? No, no, no. Yeah, so, yeah, it's that, it's that, it's that, it's that. Directly, yes. Um, you ask them if theoretically we can just un unlock everything? Just yeah, you got. Yeah, you got to turn off slow mo. Turn, turn off slow mo and everything. Yeah, that's that's what does it. Do it. All right, we're turning off slow. Uh, we're turning off slow mo, guys. Buckle up. Here it goes. Oh goodness. And what is mod icons going to do? I, I have it clicked. Okay, see, look how fast things are coming. How are you going to do it? Here we go. Three. Oh, 
Look at this. I can't. I have no idea what's going on. You, all right, now you really need the mod because I can't see shit. Let's Freedom. Go. Yes. Hi, mom. <laughs> all right, all right. This is mistake. Chill. Somebody said mistake. I think they're right. Okay. <laughs> probably right. Probably right. It is mayhem. I mean, but if you can just oh, ask see, questions, see, I can slow. I can go sub. I can slow down. But that's the thing. I don't like. Uh, I don't like when people copy paste walls of text. That's when. That's when it fucks things up. I have a small penis. You can say that all you want. Say. It, tell me all about your penis. But. Uh, Woo! You got a small penis. Salt. 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 salt, salt, salt. Yeah. I guess, <laughs> I guess we have to turn it back on. Right? Sawyer, where the dudes at? What does that mean? Where are the dudes at? I just see my penis hurt. I have a small penis. See, it's, it's, no, it's because it's because you it's no, it's because you gave you said turn off, so now they can say whatever they want. So yeah. they're they're exercising their freedom. Let them enjoy. Okay. Oh my God! There's a naked mark. What's boys? See that? Oh, look at the fucking naked Mario. That's insane. <laughs> Who took the time to make that? No, we we saw it. Stop it. We saw it. Are there more? Okay, where I slow down. Oh yeah, there it's yeah. There it is. Tell them that. I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know how you're watching this now, but I'm just gonna slowly go through it. You know, on delay. It's gonna be really delayed. But yeah, we'll talk to. You. This is gonna be a six-hour live stream because we're gonna catch up to you. Uh, we will answer. The So I'm heating this oil till it's just shimmering. I want you to see that. I'm gonna put the light there. See how it's uh, okay? No, that's because I walked. Once it slows down, once that goes away, there we go. Okay. We want this oil, yeah. you know, around like deep frying temperature. We want this around like 375 degrees, which is sh shimmering. I'm gonna be looking at the surface of the liquid and looking for those sort of patterns to start to form in the top of the liquid. That's gonna indicate to me that we're ready to go, which I think we're at right now. So let's. Give it a shot, shall we? Give a shout out to Lynn Dexter. Lynn Dexter! Shout out! They bought your book. They buy your book and they, you bought my book, dude. They're, they're starting cooking now. Dude, thank you for buying my book. Thank you for cooking. Uh, you know, I'm going to start doing this with tongs because this is dangerous. So, lay, lay these right in here with tongs. Nothing, nothing wimpy about that. It's fine. Okay. Booty emotes. Booty emotes? You say pooty emotes? Don't tell me you said pooty tang. No, no, pooty. Any any pooty tangs in, pooty. How, fans in the house? Any any pooty tang fans out there? Pooty. Give me give me some. I want I want to hear it. Pooty tang. I want to feel the love. Pooty. Nothing yet. Oh, oh, pooty tang! Here we go. Shout out Tay. Shout out Tay. There you go. Shout out Tay. Woo. Shout out Tay. Tip a towel, my Tammy. All right, only in Pooty language, guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is there a filter for only Pooty language? What the? Sign your pity on the right, guys. My name on the cherries, Mama D. Tip a towel. Yes, you may. Tip a towel, the Pooty Tang. That letter guy. You got it. Bone apple tea. Oh, man. No filters for that. Bone apple tea. No filters for that. That's going to happen. I mean, you're the one who has to go through the chat. I don't know. I'm, I'm just glad. I'm glancing over whenever I can. How about the fry ASMR, huh? It's Mario thing. Really fucking bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. Oh, Woo! There's my. Oh god. It's getting it's getting unhinged.
need better tongs. These tongs. Something's cracking Rashid up over there. It's like, I, I'm guessing it's fart related. Uh, no, it's bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. <laughs> it's still bone apple tea. Uh, we're starting to get some brownie on these, on these potatoes, boys. Ooh, I'll take that out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let that go a little bit longer. We need a little bit more browning. I'm going to put these back over. Oh, he broke. He broke up a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Debbie. <laughs> what? Is, what? Memes? Uh, is it like memes? Oh, what an apple tea, boys. I feel like keeping it off slow mode as it can catch up. Viewership? Hi. Really? Yeah. Oh. Onward then. Alright, boys. Well, I was making french fries in my dad's trailer and shit got a little fucked up and, and I burned his trailer down, but like I don't see how it's my fault. Like me and Trinity were like, you know. Learning like book learnings, and, 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 and I was being a good dad, and like I'm trying to figure out, you know, where does my, where's my sort of, it's my best Ricky impression I can do. Ooh, the are coming apart. Okay, smash them a little too much, a little too much, boys. Some good crisp. What would happen if I said boneless right now? Is that going to set people off? What are my top three beers? What are my top three beers? Uh, victory. Um, uh, fuck. Um, Harpoon, uh, something. Imperial Stout. Um, Victory Golden Monkey, and, uh, I don't know. Some some kind of Belgian triple, some, or, or quadruple. Gonna start something that was said boneless. Oh. I'm gonna take the uh, steak's temperature real quick. So we're in a low here. Let's see how we do. My love, love. There it is. Long way to go on that. We're gonna be streaming for a while, guys. Cause that has a ways to go. Oh, these are looking good and crisp. I like what I'm seeing here.
What is your favorite brand of microwave? <laughs> I've never known one microwave to outperform another. I'm not going to take sides in the great microwave debate. I'm not trying to make this about politics, guys. You know, it's about cooking, okay? crispy potatoes that we're putting down here. These guys are coming apart a little bit. I definitely smashed them too much, but that's okay. This still going to be good. Woo! Coming apart. That's okay. There we go. Nice crispy potatoes. Throw down some fresh. Let's do it with the tongs. Be smart. The adults, you know. What kind of uh, what kind of camera do you use for this video? Uh, this is a Sony A7S Mark II. That's what I'm using. That's what I use for the show. This is literally a feed of what I would normally use for the show, just fed into the screen, into the internet. Check the stay. I checked it, it's way, it's like, a, like 85 degrees, it has so far to go. This guy's gonna fall apart, I can tell. There we go. So, while these are still hot, very important. While your potatoes are still hot, always season with salt and pepper. And we'll do another layer of potatoes on top and we'll season it again. Love a good crispy potato. Look at those, those are crispy as hell. Once we stack those up, I'm gonna top it with some chives. In fact, let's get those going right now. Thanks for reminding me, guys, about the chives. Chives. Keep this rubber band on there. It keeps it in a nice bundle for me. That's nice. Just gonna snip off a little bit. Get rid of the rough ends there and just there we go. Just going right on the tips. Oh yeah. No, no, no. You know what else I'm going to put on there? I'm going to put a little lemon zest. That's what I'm going to do. Sweet. Get my zester. I'm going to put this over here so you can see what I'm doing. This is a great way to add lemony flavor to the potatoes without making them soggy by adding actual lemon juice. Just add a little lemon zest. Get rid of the label, that's for sure. Okay, these guys are looking ready to flip. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice crispy taters. That's what I'm after. You being asked anything interesting over there, or is it? What's going on? Um, oh, 
I'm getting a text. Let's see what the text is from. Everybody. Oh, a lot of texts. Oh my god. I want to check my texts during the uh, during the live stream. I wonder if my I got a text from my aunt Donna though. I wonder if she's watching the live stream right now. That would be trippy if she was. Let me see if she's saying I'm watching her live stream. Uh, nope, she's not watching. Never mind. Disregard. I should. I want to text somebody that knows that I'm live streaming right now and be like, "Hey, I'm live streaming. Are you watching?" Because <laughs> I'm texting you right now. <laughs> Yo, dude, that would trip him out. We should get a call-in number. Yeah, this should be like a Fraser, like a call-in show. You're my Roz. And Rashid, you're my Daphne. Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> There's something unacceptable about that? Mmm, these potatoes are looking good! Nice and crisp. Do your Bane impression. You want me to do my Bane impression? <laughs> I did. I did one last last episode. That's why they they've heard it. I'll do it as soon as I get these out of the pan. Ooh, ooh, text Jess to see if she's watching. They want Jess. They like Jess more than us. Jess, if you're Jess, if you're watching, they want you back. So come on over, because uh, we need you here. I'm kidding. These guys are doing a great job, but they do want you back. So okay. There's our potatoes. Some more chives. We all love Jess. Jess, Jess, the savior of pasta, savior of breadcrumbs. <laughs> Jess would eat that steak on camera, unlike these bums. You guys gonna come eat the steak on camera when it comes out, or are you gonna be bums? <laughs> You're a bum! You're a bum! You're a bum! I'm not gonna say the first part of that joke. <laughs> Bring it on, motherfucker! <laughs> All right, a little bit of more salt. What does moon subs mean? I I don't I don't fucking know. Is it? I, I bet they made that up to confuse us, honestly. What is moon subs, guys? Did you make that up? What is moon subs? Here's the potatoes, by the way. There we go. Crispy smashed potatoes with uh, lemon zest and chives and salt and pepper. Nothing more. Just serving our guests. They'll eat on camera before the the night is over. I promise you. I promise you. Okay. I'm removing this from the equation. And now, guys, we just kind of hang out until the until the steak is done. Unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately. Fortunately, we get to hang out until <laughs> the steak is done. Uh, what uh, What do you guys want to talk about? Hit me. I'm going to turn off this fan. Hang on a second. Sun subs. Moon subs. I think they're making this shit up. I swear to God. Bold dad. Not unfortunately. Fortunately. Make a cocktail. I'm in the middle of my, my whiskey. Oh, I'm almost done with my whiskey. As soon as I'm done with my whiskey, I'll make a cocktail. Okay? That's what we'll do. That's a good, that's a good way to fill time. I'll make a cocktail. What will I make a cocktail of? You know what I'm going to do? It's a very simple cocktail, but I'm going to make a Negroni. I'm very much in the mood for a Negroni, and that's what's coming next. How are those potatoes, boys? Good. Oh, I'm going I'm to come over and try one. Oh, I need 
more salt. Let that be a lesson to you guys. I just went over and tasted the potatoes and they're undersalted. Always taste your food before you serve it. I'm gonna go salt these potatoes. They wanna meet you boys, so you better come up here before the end of the night. They're looking to meet the fellas. These are my two closest friends in the entire world. Uh, and you both, you, you guys know them both in different ways. Uh, uh, Rashid was in the in the, the hot pepper challenge this past week. You saw him there. And, and Sawyer uh, filmed the um, behind the scenes uh, uh, video for when I hit a million subscribers. If you saw that video, he was the one holding the camera. So... They've, they've been part of the show in, in ways that you've not yet quite understood. All right, what are we talking about here? Do you use dry vermouth or sweet with your Negroni? I use sweet vermouth. <laughs> Do I watch Hell's Kitchen? Of course, I watch clips of Hell's Kitchen like everybody else. I don't watch the whole show. He was the champ of that pepper! Yeah, you were, Duro. Call him Duro. Rashid Hyde! How's Rashid's tongue after the pepper? How's your tongue, Daryl? My tongue was fine, it was my insides that hurt. I, I agree. He said his tongue is fine, but his insides hurt. And same here. After we shot that video, I went curled up in a ball in bed for like two hours. Like, it was, I was in unbearable stomach pain. It was way worse than the burn, honestly. Because it was uncontrollable. Penis I love penicillin cocktail. I don't have the stuff for it. You need like crystallized ginger and shit for that. What's the favorite way to cook chicken breast? Dude, next week is chicken breast week. <laughs> um, that, that's, that's the subject of next week's episode is, is chicken breasts. Uh, we're going to be talking about making a, um, a bone-in, skin-on chicken breast that we sear in a pan, finish in the oven, build a pan sauce, much in the same way that we did here, build a pan sauce and, uh, and, 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 and make a really crispy, juicy, not dry, not stringy, saucy, beautiful chicken breast. So keep an eye out for that next week. Yeah, William Osmond should do the hot pepper challenge. William, if you're watching for some reason, you should, you should eat hot pepper. What does my tattoo say on my left arm? That says, here, I'll change the focus. That says, born and bred. I don't know if you can see it. It says, born and bred, and it's a pun. See, I have a pun tattooed on my flesh. I'm like Bob's Burgers, but for real. I really care about puns. Maybe I should mod some of these people. What does that mean? What are they saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing in particular. But, like, to, like, make, make it go a little better. But, uh... <laughs> I'm just jumping in every few minutes here. What is a Negroni Spaghetti Gin or Prosecco? Have I ever thought of collabing with Guy Fieri? You know, you know what? Big respect for Guy Fieri. I, I know that I know I was part of the same hate storm, but like, uh, uh, he went on Hot Ones and he crushed it. He was not only like totally personable and and like fun and nice, but he also didn't touch his water or his milk. And just walked off set like, oh, by the way, I didn't touch, I didn't drink any water or milk <laughs> after eating the hottest one. He was like, oh, it's hot. So whatever. Big respect for Guy Fieri. I don't care. He's making a lot of money, so whatever. Good job, dude. I'm hoping to be on Hot Ones. I'm dying to be on Hot Ones. Just a matter of uh, getting on next season. We'll see. I'm in touch with their with their with their producers, so we'll we'll see. I play video games. I, I've been playing mostly Switch right now. I've been playing um, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. And, uh, and I finished um, uh, Breath of the Wild recently. Can't really say finished, huh? Right? Because there's so many quests. How could you really finish? Um, but uh, I, I finished playing it. I, 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 have, I have a weird uh, condition where I need to um, 
never finish video games where like if I start getting close to the end, I know I'm close to the end, I'll stop playing because I'll be like, I don't want it to be over. I don't want this experience to be over. And I'll never finish it. And it'll just sit on my shelf. I'm like, I might as well finish it. It's really <laughs> stupid. Super Mario 64 HD? What I miss? <laughs> it's not. You have to say like, there's ravelins, dude. Ravelins. So insistent. So about the subscriber emotes. About emotes? <laughs> it can't be that easy. I can't just make them. Why don't you guys make Do you guys make emotes? Yeah. But I, when will you make some subscriber <laughs> emotes? <laughs> We're trying. We're working around the clock. How many followers are we up to now? 20. Oh, we're up a thousand followers since starting the stream. That's pretty good. Sub emotes. I mean, I see all these emotes. I see so many. And I want to know how to, how to, how to get into that. I want to, I want to. Tell Master Metroid I don't understand what he's saying. Where's Master Metroid? Oh, uh, I, we don't understand what you're saying, Master oh, no, Metroid. No, 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 never mind, never mind. Okay, uh, well, never mind, we understand. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm just relaying messages from the other side of the room. Uh, of 140 votes, people love the idea of carving fork with spaghetti curled around it, 69%. Whoa, how'd you do that? You did a poll? The Master Metroid did. Oh, Master Me oh my god. Cool, all right, with spaghetti then. You guys decided. 69%. Speaking of tattoos, if anybody can tell me what this is, what is this tattoo? Uh, you win my respect. What's this tattoo? What is it? Somebody tell me. Hi, Master Metroid. Hi, Vanish. That's why I said hi. <laughs> Fucking hot. Yep, Kodak, you guys know your shit. Whoa, wow, you guys all know your shit. Holy hell. Look at, look at all the Kodaks. They all know. That's crazy. Kodak. It means bald Whitney and Kiss. <laughs> 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 bald white. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, okay, I told you last hour. You know what? You're right. You're right. I was drunk. Give me a break. <laughs> I just copied everyone else. Because why, why Kodak? Because we've been talking about Rochester this whole time. I grew up in Rochester, hometown of Jenna Marbles and Kodak. <laughs> Did you know she went to Brighton? Who? Jenna Marbles. She's like one of the biggest oh, really? YouTube personalities in the world. She went to uh, she went to a high school, not. Oop, sorry, Mike. Jenna Marbles went to a high school not um, a mile from our high school. Uh, so it's it's very strange to see the the surplus of great Western New Yorkers that have have, have risen, the cream that's risen. Oh, Where's the cocktail? All right, fine. I'll finish this off. Okay. All right, guys, it's cocktail time. Here we go. How are you doing? How are you fixing for drinks, Rashid? Um, I could use a cocktail. Well, could what, you want a Negroni? Yeah, please. You guys, I'm making three Negronis, guys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's a weeknight. It's a Thursday. But we don't care. You know, maybe I'll get rid of these chives as well, because that's what was going to happen. They're going to stick to the bottom of the glass. Get rid of these chives. The boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. That's what I want you guys to call my crew from now on. We'll call the boys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call the boys. I don't want you to call me anything else. We'll call the boys. We'll call the boys. You, you call me anything else, you're going to have to deal with the boys. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. <laughs> I, got, I got an idea for a sequel to Entourage. It's called The Boys. <laughs> this is just about the boys. No, none of this movie bullshit. It's just about the boys. <laughs> 
it's mice getting the king cubes. No Ari Gold. There's no women. Just about the boys. You gotta tell the other guy what you cleaned the cutting board with, for God's sake. This. I clean the cutting board with a diluted mixture of white vinegar. It's white vinegar and water. If I want to sanitize it after I've been uh, cutting meat, then pure vinegar. But if it's just vegetables, if it's just, if it's just you know, chives, whatever, diluted vinegar. This stuff comes in handy, especially when you have a wooden cut, a wooden uh, work, work, workstation or a wooden, big, if you have a big wooden cutting board, a great way to just clean it off between sessions, I don't know, is diluted white vinegar. Thank you for relaying that. Just don't mind me, and we're filling the ice cube tray. <laughs> and the, uh, the Campari and the uh, sweet vermouth are over here, not on the bar. It's because uh, it's because I had a date over. You know, you know how it goes, guys. Uh, so, the one thing I need is gin. Here we go. Start with some gin. And I'm, I just eyeball a Negroni. I've never made a Negroni that tastes any different from any other Negroni because the Campari just overpowers everything. So, you know, I have equal amounts in there. I should have been a bartender in another life. Little splash of vermouth. Nothing crazy. Just add a little sweetness against the... Uh, that's why I use sweet vermouth, because Campari is so darn bitter. Even though I love it. I love Campari. And then, now we've got our foundation. Christina Hendricks, yes. Yes, Christina Hendricks was the date, if that's what you're asking. Ravelance. So boys. All right. There we go. Three Negronis. I'm gonna bring these over this side. Boys, you go. Here you go, boys. Thank you Thank so you. much. Cheers. 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 I'll cheers you from a distance. Mmm, delicious. Drink up, boys. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Asshole. Here, boys. Here, boys. Here, boys, 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 boys. You're my big boys. You're my big boys. You're my big boys. Who's my big boys? You're my big sons. Is it you? My Is it you? Sons. My eldest boys. My eldest boys. Whoa. The one on the same day. Not twins. <laughs> <laughs> my boys. Whoa. Oh, what happened to you? Here it comes. Oh. Oh. Got my zester. Sorry about the cacophony. Cheers, guys. I hope you guys are having a uh, Thursday night cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. I'm talking to them, not to you. Oh, that's really bitter. Bring back Jess. <laughs> Bone Jess. ape tit. Bone apple tit. Bone Jess. ape tit. Let's go. A little bit more vermouth. That is pretty bitter. Get wild in here. Let's get wild. Boys going wild. Cheers, boys. It's time for boys going wild. Cheers, boys. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is it still bone apple teeth that's cracking you up? <laughs> Steak's steak. fine, guys. Steak. Uh, check the steak. It's check just, the steak. It's so far away from being done that it's crazy. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> Junk rat girl, you're funny. But, but also, so is every single person who has said We're at 80 <laughs> degrees still. We're still at 80 degrees. You see that shit? We have so Ooh, long to go. Ooh, they're going to like this. Yeah, we got a ways to go, boys. What, 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 do we, what do we do in the meantime? I'd say we have a solid... I hate to say it, but I think we have like a... It's such a thick steak. Probably have a solid half hour ahead of us. Wow. That's not too bad. 
What time is it now? Okay, I mean, that's only 15 minutes later than uh, the scheduled live stream, and then there's just the seer after that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get down to eye level and talk with you guys. I'm going to clean off my glasses first so I'm not all smudgy. I'm going to get down to eye level, and we're going we're gonna to have a little conversation. Okay? Oh, my God. Oh, no, they're all smudged up now. Hang on a second. They have oil all over them from cooking the steak. Check this thing. <laughs> I checked it! You want me check it again? Be safe? Turn the oven on. Oh shit, the oven's off. <laughs> oh yeah! Hurry up! It's been a while, that was good. Guys, I wanna, I wanna talk to you a little bit about Nude Mario, okay? Nude Mario is a lot of fun. Okay, we, not all of us all of us can agree on that. We we all think that New Mario is a lot of fun, <sighs> but New Mario can be dangerous. Okay, you got to practice safe New Mario. All right, and I'm, and I want to see a little bit more now. Let's 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 copy paste that shit in there. I want to see <laughs> as many New Marios as you can fit in the chat. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I want to see so many New Marios. Give it to me. I'm still not seeing any. Oh, God. And that was a map. There it is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone down to high level. <laughs> I'm so close up. What's blue? <laughs> <laughs> Green. Ooh, orange. Whoa. <laughs> Man. All right. Okay. All right. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I made a mistake. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Purple. I want to see other stuff. Kirby's, other Mario. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> make just the hat red. Yeah, yeah make make, ju just, make the just the hat red. That's my new request. I want naked Mario, just red hat, make purple everything else. Red hat, Ooh. red hat, purple body. <laughs> Give it to me right now. <laughs> Chad, <someone got> <laughs> Ooh, the oh, they will. No, this, is a, this is a delay. Give them a second to do. The, they have to do the copy paste. Oh yeah, Flanders. <laughs> Oh, oh man. <laughs> Come on. Is <laughs> You're, we're gonna have to turn slow mo back on yeah, in a second because yeah, this is getting out of control. I'm 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 cool with doing it right now because we're very far away from the stake being done. <laughs> yeah, this is a good but way to run it. Just I'm very happy how, to uh, how fever pitch see what happens this. here. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we have about two thousand viewers right now, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, we've been rolling at this for Just a while. shy of two thousand. Tell your friends, join in. Tell your friends, watching Binging with Babish. Hashtag, I'm watching Binging with Babish live. It's the boys. Hashtag. That's all one word. Hashtag. It's nice that that sort of slowed down organically. They're not doing it so much anymore. Yeah, no, no still, there's still the odd one in there. Still, nobody fulfilled my request, though, which I'm a little upset about, but it's fine. Chat's fine. He'll say it's ruined. It's fine. I don't want to see a single lay, okay? Get that shit out of here. Now I'm going to see a million of them. Whoops. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. Prime sub, prime sub. What's the request? It was to... What was it? I can't remember. <laughs> um. Who was my date? Who was, who was Rashid's date? We didn't get to see Rashid's date that night. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a moon sub. I'm a star sub, moon That's sub, sun sub. I'm every kind of sub. Yeah, no, I'm I'm a complete sub. Moon sub. We don't know what that is. We don't know what moon sub is. We don't know what moon sub is. 
Sawyer is my, my director of PR, and he's doing a real bad job here. <laughs> he's making me walk into these minefields. Will I read you a story, Daddy? Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful little man named AHT3333. And AHT3333 lived in a magical kingdom called Twitchdom, where everybody loved nude Mario and nobody posted him with these separate colors that I asked for. And I'm a little upset about that. It's okay. Thanks. ASMR? I'll do some ASMR right now. <laughs> Put it on your headphones. <laughs> Mouth noises. <laughs> yes, I can. I can do that. I just did. <laughs> oh boy I'm totally not re-uploading this to YouTube this has gone way out of control because <laughs> uh, without, without the context of the comments it's going to be just me acting like an asshole <laughs> poggers there's the red hat, red hat. oh I see red hat okay. alright thank you thank you that's the track Upload a riot. An orange hat now. Yeah, an orange hat. Hell yeah, hats. We want to see hats. Give me hats. We want to see hats. We want to see all your best hats. It's Super Mario Odyssey. We're doing hats. Makes sense. Strangely, <laughs> it worked out. Worked Thema out. Thematically, it worked out. Main impression. Main impression. Headwalk five oh five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Mr. Wayne, I wondered what would have given up first, your spirit or your body? <laughs> that was Doug's favorite, was my, my Bane impression. Oh. <laughs> Like him starting with a uh, satisfied. I said we would FaceTime him, but we can't. FaceTime who? Doug. <laughs> Why not? What time is it? Elder than me. It's nine. It's it's eight fifty two his time. We can type FaceTime him. Sure, he has a newborn. It's fine. You're right. We could. Who out there has newborns? Does FaceTime him... Jess. FaceTime <laughs> Jess. <laughs> Jess. Dude, Uncle Trey. Uncle Trey is dogging us. <laughs> Uncle okay. Tray, Uncle Tay. Just want you to know, we see you, dude. We see you, Uncle Tay. All right, you're dogging us. You're dogging. You're dogging the boys. You're dogging the boys. <laughs> Do you know about the boys? I've never met this. Our jersey's fine, but you're dogging the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jess is great, but you're dogging the boys right now. All right. Yeah. Hey, to be fair, by this time Jess had been on camera like five times. Oh, true, true. The boys are enjoying their birthday meal right now, okay? It was their birthday. It was the, it was the, Leave it's the, the boys alone. That's right, Captain Ben. Yeah. Leave the boys alone. Leave me alone, guys. The boys just wore caps. Lay off, you guys. <laughs> Do you remember that from Mystery yes. Science Theater? <laughs> any, any Mystery Science Theater fans out there? This is a very specific joke that I'm referring to from... from um, uh, what was it? It was uh, uh, Boggy Creek, uh, Legend of Boggy <laughs> Creek 2. <laughs> and was, I, I bet there is a creature. I bet he's going to roll up on his camp right now. Lay off me, you guys. <laughs> this is one of the funniest things I've ever heard was that moment. We were just talking Frasier. Sora and I were just having a friendly Frasier debate. Any Frasier heads out there? Yeah. 
we were talking about uh, uh, Anne Hodges and how she's a monster. And if Frasier in its worst moments like that is still worth watching. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. If you want to talk about that, we'll talk about that. But first, I am 626. <laughs> What do you say? What do you no, say? No, no, no. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Uh, not, you're we're not gonna say it on the air. Well, what do you want me to say you're to him? Banned. You're banned. We're banned. Shame on I am six two six. You're banned. I don't know. I don't know why, you're but you banned. did. You did Anybody something shitty. That, we're not gonna repeat it. You're banned. What did you text me? What did he say? Yeah, I'll tell you later. It's not. It's not. It's not important. Was it bad? Was it like a mean thing? Generally, yes. Very generally a mean thing. Very out of context. Very out of context. Very general. Very hateful. Unnecessary. What was his screen name again? I am 626. I am 626. Yeah. Uh-oh. Listen to me. I am 626. You're dogging the boys right now. <laughs> Baking with Bane. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Username is Stu. Great idea. Uh, username 626 is dogging the boys, apparently. There it is. Oh, audience has dropped 300 because <laughs> we're not cooking, presumably, or because this is totally devolved into a shit show. It's fine. Back off the boys. I love a good shit show. Back off the boys. Hashtag back, back off the boys. Trend that on Twitter right now, please. Back off the boys. <laughs> oh, that plan is good. I didn't see him. <laughs> oh, it's all broken up for me. Yeah, yeah, it did lose my life. Bring back thick. Uh -oh. I want to see some thick. <laughs> Give me some thick right now. I want to see thick. I want to see how thick you guys think shit is right now. Hashtag back off the thick boys. Thick boys. Extra thick boys. <laughs> Whoever's still watching, I applaud you. Because <laughs> it's really gone off the rails. Back off the thick boys. <laughs> Just the Mario dick. <laughs> Just the dick. <laughs> it's oh. a matter of time. Just the dick. <laughs> Can we get a, 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 a Thick Boys emote, emote? I want to get a Thick Boys emote. What does that mean? What yeah, would that, what would that look time, like? When did you do this once a week? Once every other week. Every other week? Yeah. Right. You can get emotes by then. Don't, don't put that on me. We'll get, we'll get emotes. Oh, people have been messaging you about making emotes for you. We'll all right, them. okay, all right. If people are messaging me about making emotes, then we'll get emotes by, ne by, by next stream, yeah, okay? Let's see those whispers. I want to see some whispers. Whisper at me. Whisper. Whisper at me right now. I'm whispering at you. You're whispering at me. Hear me? <laughs> Kel, Mitchell, Kel, Kel Video's live. Kel Video's live. That's amazing. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. Hear me? It's Mr. Jackets. 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 <laughs> We're, I, if anybody gets that, if anybody gets that, I'll be in awe. I will be in awe if anybody knows Kel Videos Live. Kel Videos Live. Videos! Alright, we're getting some nice. Somebody videos. called me gay. Go <laughs> 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 to Apple Tea. <laughs> they are so drunk, I'm living for this thick shit. <laughs> 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 Band. Bone apple thick. <laughs> Bone apple thick. <laughs> We've reached an apex. That was it. Bone apple thick. With two C's though. <laughs> All right, I'm checking on the steak to sate you, you guys. But we're so we're so far away right now. From where we need to be. Oh, let's check the bone apple thick. <laughs> Oh, we've only come up seven degrees. God damn. 
It's gonna honestly, I think it's gonna come down to the hardcore, the hardcore core folk, at the end of the day. Hardcore's uh, only. It's gonna it's gonna take a little while. I hope you, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm wearing a patterned shirt for the first time. See that? Normally I wear solids. Right now I got a little got a little pattern going there. Yeah. It's no no big deal. Just eat it. <laughs> Hardcore parkour. I like that. New South. Thick folk. New South. What does that mean? <laughs> eat it or no balls. <laughs> How about no shirt? How about no shirt? All right, you asked for it. If I get... If I get uh, 1,000 thicks. <laughs> now it's about to go nuts. No, no, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Make it rain. Make it rain thicks. I want those thicks. Give me a bone apple thick boys. <laughs> Somebody give me a bone apple thick boys. Oh my god. <laughs> my face hurts from from seeing all these sticks. I'm only count I'm, may, I'm at maybe like thirty-five sticks. Yeah, we're almost there though. <laughs> sure now if you copy paste stick it doesn't count. Sorry. Or burst your, your thick bubble. Turd boys. Turd boys? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a turd boys. <laughs> Give me 50 turd boys. <laughs> I I'm, let, I'm letting it go, go way off the rails now. 1,000 thick. We just hit 1,000 thick. Surprisingly, viewership hasn't declined in the past ten in the past ten minutes or so. It hasn't gone down. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that you guys are sticking around. Because uh, you know, I've run out of things to cook. I bought the potatoes specifically as a time filler to fill any extra time that it would take to wait for the steak. And uh, I, I've made the potatoes and we've eaten them entirely almost. And uh, uh, it. it <laughs> No. Why does everybody ask for spaghetti tacos from Maya Carly? That seems like a hugely popular suggestion. And I don't get it. We're putting spaghetti in tacos. And also, iCarly was not an example of, of Nick at its, at its, at its apex. Give me, give me, give me a, a Keenan and Kel food, you know? Give, Can somebody talk about that? Give me a Pete and Pete food, you know? That DVD we were just talking about. Hey, oh, yeah, give me a, give me a Kel videos live. Can somebody, Can somebody, somebody has out, anybody seen Kel videos live? Anybody? Don't lie to me. Just 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 n name name an inside joke from Kel videos live if you know Kel videos live. No, no. There's a delay. Give him a second. Yeah, but they're saying good burger. Oh, your tomahawk is. I said I just saw a tomahawk is somebody's tomahawk is done. So I'm gonna be serious for a second and just. You know, do what we did in the video, heat some high smoke point oil, like grapeseed oil, to smoking, put your steak in there, sear it real hot both sides. After you've flipped it once, butter based, add some butter, add rosemary, add a, a whole clove of crushed garlic, and butter baste it, and then let it rest for five minutes tops if you're doing the reverse sear method. And um, if you're doing a tomahawk, it's extra tricky. You might have to use a torch, man. I don't know how you're going to get that in there with the bone sticking out. Anyway. So do we get oh. do we get any Kel videos live? <clears throat> Not yet. No. What? Where did we find that? Whose was that? Doug. He bought a DVD at 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 at, uh, at uh, F Y E. That's where he bought it. it was F Y E? I'm sure of it. Anybody remember F Y E for your entertainment? <laughs> Comp USA. Comp USA. Media play. <laughs> Media play. They're out of the Four here. gifts. What are you guys drinking tonight? Tell me, tell me, tell me what everybody's drinking. I have a Negroni, right here. What are you guys drinking? These people are like kids. 
of of those who are of, of age. Water, bleach, fireball, Colt forty five. <laughs> oh my god, vodka shots. Malibu rum with Coca Cola. You sick. Thick water. <laughs> Thick water. <laughs> Thick water. It's that thick water. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Mad Dog 2020. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Thick water. I love that the most. Mountain Dew, Red, and Captain Morgan, you're psycho. Blue Moon, come on. Boneless Ice. All right. Whiskey without the H. That's interesting. You're drinking pan sauce. Whoever said pan sauce, you're the champion right now. Thank you. All right. I really want this steak to be done so we can so we can see a great cross section. I want to give you guys the steak cross section of a lifetime. I'm gonna check on it again real quick. I'm not gonna pull it up here just because I want to I want to keep it in the oven. But I'm, I'm gonna see where we're at. Try to gauge. I'm sure the Uncle Tay, dude. Why is Uncle Tay not subscribed? So, Tingle Tay, why aren't you subscribed? We're up to 97 degrees, guys. We're up to 97. Okay? If we go if we go up 20 more degrees, uh, not even, less than 20 more degrees, and we're we're searing, okay? We're getting closer, finally. The, 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 once we get past like getting over the, the, the refrigeration of the steak, that's when things start to go a lot faster. So you need to start taking the temperature a little bit more often. So I'm going to be taking it about every five minutes now. I'm going to stick it right in there every five minutes. Steak hut. Pendleton 1910. What is that? What is that? Will you cook a nothing pizza let, left beef? What does that oh, mean? I saw that meme. That was your summer oh. order. Is that a meme? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll make that. Fine. Sure. So many auto mod things catching thick. Twenty degrees to thick steak. Why? Why is it catching those? Let him say thick. Thick is a modern <clears throat> word. But they're saying it like with spaces and no K and. That's why. Uh. I can't make a good burger, guys. I, I I want to make a good burger really badly. I, nobody I, knows about those DVDs. No, no, nobody does. Nobody's said a word about them. Nobody knows Kel Video's life. That was a truly obscure thing that we yeah, stumbled upon. Where did you get that? Dude, I tried to find Mr. Jenkins on YouTube. It doesn't exist. It's, it's not on the internet. I think we need to find Doug and get those DVDs and put them up on YouTube, honestly. Um, Someone, uh, FN Dubs, Mr. Jenkins. Mr. J okay, somebody said Mr. Yeah, Jenkins. All right, FN Dubs, tell me what you know. FN Dubs, do it, brother. Mr. Jenkins is still on YouTube. <laughs> he's not. No, he's not. Yeah. Break. Uncle Tay, hell yeah, dude. What do you say? Subscribe with the five dollar sub. Woo! I don't know what that means. Thank you. Hell yeah, dude. Extra thick burger. Uncle Tay subbed. Uncle Tay subbed. Woo! All burger video from different shows. <laughs> Why no good burger? Because Ed's secret sauce is just that. It is a secret. I saw him boiling uh, pickles in, in ketchup and... In a big vat of ketchup. I don't know how he was making that. And also, it's Nickelodeon being goofy. So it's not... It's not real. I can't make Ed's special sauce, you know? I can make a really good special sauce. I can't make Ed's because it's fantasy. It's the same reason I won't make Lembus bread. Because Lembus bread from, from Lord of the Rings is supposed to be able to fill you up with a single bite. I can't do that. That's against the laws of stomach physics. Hear me? Hear me? Somebody say hear me? Hell yeah. Ooh, who said it? I don't know. They're gone now. Yeah. Scroll up. Hold up. Hold up. There's going to be some sound in the background. Crank that. Is that as loud as it goes? There we go. Thank you, everyone, for giving a 
giving us these videos. Oh, oh, tell videos live. There Thank we go. You. Dance for, I'm not gonna dance for you, sorry. Who said butter lettuce and why? Sour piss? I'm not gonna do a little dance, Jive. Oh, you're talking about uh, what's her what's her face? The uh, younger uh, what's her face? How much nudes name your price? Thousand dollars right now. Right now, and I I hang I hang I I, I swing dick. <laughs> I shouldn't say. Shave your beard and cook it into something. Shave your beard and cook it into something. <laughs> you guys are sick. What an insane comment. <laughs> it's <some> really deeply. <laughs> Roast mutton from The Hobbit. Okay, I'll do that. It's the problem is that The Hobbit, those movies were bad. I'm dying to do a sloppy Jessica from Brooklyn Nine Nine. That looks really good. That is some some beefy mac and cheese in a hero. That's that's what I'm after. I'm ready to do ready to do a sloppy Jessica anytime. We need more eggs. We need more eggs. Eggs. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> check this all right okay i'll check the steak boys all right boys you can quote me on that all right well i'm gonna allow that message if you're gonna say All right, we're still in the high 90s. We got a little bit, a little bit of ways to go. We're still going, okay? Just relax, don't worry. Okay, just don't worry. Just don't worry about it. You guys, you guys are dogging on the boys, you know? <laughs> thick steak. So, did you see that? You see that? The copy paste where it says thick steak? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. insane. How did you make that so quickly? How does a person make that? Oh my god. Here it comes. Dude, seriously, how did they make that? They uh, just made it in text really fast. Guess so, fuck. Did he just sit there and like do like spaces and tabs and now I think people are just copying and pasting. No, oh no, of course, of course. No, they're copy pasting, but but one guy came up with it. Who came up with this? We'll never know. We'll never know, apparently. All right, you might want to turn on slow mo as long as people are. It'll even out. Uh, you're right. You're right. That's a meme now. Thick steak <laughs> with what does that say? With something? It was me. I did. It was me. 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 <laughs> Take off your shirt. <laughs> That's a meme now. How many how many memes have we made this episode, guys? Good amount. Thick steak, thick boys. I made this. Dog and the boys. It was me. No, but like really, like who made it? Like really, who actually like made it? Like really. We'll never know. Like for real. <laughs> Turd <Terrible> boys. <laughs> Turd <Terrible> boys. <laughs> You're lucky that we're that we're 12 years old. <laughs> You're lucky that we're 12 and that that cracks us up whenever that happens. All right, I'm gonna do a little mise en place. I'm gonna get some garlic going and I'm gonna get some rosemary going. Okay. Milk steak. Milk steak. Milk steak. Oh, I'm going to the 
camera, sorry. Oops. Let's fix that. There we go. All right, guys. How do we peel garlic in a hurry? In a, in a hurry. How do we do it? Somebody shout it out. How do we peel garlic very quickly? Hmm? Milk steak, milk steak, earthquake, daddy. <laughs> milk bomb. Magnets. Magnets. Crush. Smash, crush. smash, crush it, smash, smash. smash. woo! Smash. Yeah, that's what we're doing, boys. All right, boys. I really like saying that in the, in the context of Trailer Park, boys. All right, boys. All right, boys. <laughs> there we go. I just smashed a little bit. Voila. I, I want this smashed a little bit, but I want it whole so I can take it out. See that? That's right where I want it. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to release all of its goodness, but it's not going to fall apart in the oil. Butter. Yes, son. I hear that I'm somebody's daddy out there. I'm just reading your whispers. Who's who? Who's daddy am I? Uh, I'm curious. Uh, uh, I just no, no, I'm ask. I'm asking them. Who's daddy am I? Whisper me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I require emotes. Okay. Oh, here it is, guys. We're going cast iron this next one. It's the only one that can handle the job. We've still got a little ways to go. <laughs> let me check. Let me check the steak. I'm gonna check the steak. It's my new thermopen. I love it because it's like, it's uh, here we go. It's 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 directional. If you hold it like this, just like that. I love that. That's so cool. I'm not again. I'm not sponsored. I'm just enjoying this product for what it does. I like that. Just barely hitting a hundred degrees. Not even. <sighs> yeah, tell some tell somebody to make emotes. Let's 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 try to get some work done tonight, guys. I emailed you about working on some custom emotes for your stream. I'm a professional freelance artist and animator, but I went. All right, so so go go to go to uh, my Safari browser. That'll be the binge with that email. <laughs> Actually, just send me the link. I lost your message. It's not a good UI. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is, uh, All right, I'm gonna start answering questions, guys. Throw me your questions, Milk Daddy. Ten thirty. Next check. Yeah, you're you're just about right. Red hot. Red hot. Best place for a date? Where? Tell me. Tell me what city you're. You know, or, no, 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 I, I don't know that many cities that well. So, tell me what kind of date you want to go on. Tell me what kind of girl it is. Like, like, what's she into? What's, what's, you know. What kind of dude it is? Tell me what kind of dude it is. I, I understand guys too. She's a hooker. You know, got to go to the brothel, man. You got to go you know, straight to the source. Hey, if you're up in Harlem, man, if you're ever up in Harlem, go to Bill's Place, okay? That's around 132nd Street. It is a actual speakeasy from from the from the Prohibition days. And uh, Billie Holiday sang there when she was like 13, 14. And it's like a 30-person seating, you know, in this old railroad apartment. And uh, it's BYOB, and you look like a fucking insider Go, go to Bill's place. If you're ever in Harlem, go to Bill's place. That's a great first date. There you go. I reseason my, I, I, I very rarely reseason my cast iron because I try to do the right thing, which is after you cook in it, clean it quickly and then hit it with oil immediately while it's still warm. Hit it with oil. You want that oil to polymerize and build layer upon layer upon layer. This is not perfectly seasoned, man. There's some problems here. You know, I'm not, I'm not the best at this. There's, there's a, there's a, a, a structural weakness here, but I'm getting there. It's a learning, it's a learning curve, you know? 
bring your own babish. Yes, that's why I called it BYOB. You got to bring your own babish. Can't can't be served a babish. I got a bit nervous streaming on Twitch the first time, but now I feel like I know you guys a little bit, and and I I, I realize like you know we're we're just having some fun here, and and people are cooking along. Uh, if you're cooking along, I'd like to offer you any advice in the world. If you're if you're not, I'm here to chat. You know that's what this is all about. Uh, my cookbook is getting restocked very soon. I've been told that there are a lot of copies that have been ordered, and they'll be they'll be. You know, how do I store knives? Okay, that's a good question. I have this guy. It keeps the knives separate. It keeps the actual blades sort of like the the way it balances them. They don't actually the blade actually doesn't rest on anything. All the weight rests on the handle. So they're just being kept separate, and the blade isn't really touching anything. Like it's just, just sort of hovering above the bottom of the thing. This thing's great. I don't know what it's called, and uh, just look for something that looks like this on Amazon. I'm sure it'll work fine. I recently put my knives there because it's nice to have them right next to everything. It's nice to be able to just grab a knife, ready to go. The steak is moving and making a barking sound. What do I do? Just call it, call, call it, snuggles. I don't know. Um, can you do a fan meetup in New York? I've done a couple, and I'm gonna do some more in the future. Uh, how do I sharpen my knives? Um, stones. I like using stones, uh, and and I take it to get to take my knives to get professionally sharpened every couple months, just when they feel like they're beyond repair. Because I don't know, I don't, you know, I, I know how to use a wet stone a little bit, but I'm not like an expert or anything. Um, let's see, any plans to visit the West Coast? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to L.A. next week. Maybe I should uh, try and get a meetup going. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, you know what? This is actually a good question. Somebody asked, what, um, what do we post to win, to, to, to show what we made along with you to potentially win prizes. And that's something I talked about <clears throat> when I first described the, scare, the series, and it's not something that we've worked out yet. How about right now? Let's, let's community brainstorm a hashtag. Not thick boys, not, uh, <laughs> not, not dog and the boys. Uh, but uh, tell, me, tell me a hashtag that you think would work well for if you cooked along with me and you want to see, you want to post your creation, you want to potentially win some, some prizes. Basic, hashtag basis with Babish makes sense. Okay, sure. Fat, fat the Babish. <laughs> I like That's that one. one. There's something about that that I like. That's the one. Thick boys. Babish and boys. Thick Babish. Thick steak. Extra dogging. <laughs> uh, come to Babish. Beauty by. Beauty by Babish. <laughs> Daddy Daddy Babish. Babish. <laughs> what the fuck? Daddy Babish. Nude Mario. Hashtag Nude Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I mean... <laughs> hashtag basics with Babish makes, makes a lot of sense. Bone... Bone apple teeth would be very funny though. <laughs> bone apple babish. Bone apple babish? Are you kidding me? Let's just do bone apple babish. We got a marketing genius over on the side here. You still got some checks mix left over there? Barely. All right, good. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> I'm making it work. Ah. Bone apple babish. Bone apple, bone apple teeth. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make it official, guys, and I'll I'll, I'll make this a, a tweet and, a, and an Instagram as well. If you cooked along with me tonight, if you're cooking along with me, uh, post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter with the hashtag Basics with Babish or Bone Apple Teeth. If you if you do Bone Apple Teeth, I'll see it. I'm sure. Just, just tag me in it and I'll laugh and it'll be funny and whatever. But the official one is Basics with Babish. If you tag it with Basics with Babish, I will, I will uh, 
And you really, you're like Rashid's been laughing for like an hour straight right now because he loves this so much. Um, and and uh, so anyway, the official one is basics hashtag basics with Babish. Um, if you made something, you want to show it off. If you did something different with what we're learning, if you're like, okay. I made a different kind of steak or I made a different kind of pan sauce. Somebody was asking, can I make a white wine pan sauce? Uh, if you if you branched out, that's something that I, I, I really am looking for, something I really admire. You're looking at the technique and how you can change it and make it work for you. Um, so hashtag basics with Babish, hashtag bone apple teeth. <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, do that and, we'll, and, and I'm going to be giving away some things like copies of my book or uh, uh, useful kitchen tools, or when it becomes available, Babish gear. So keep an eye out for that, okay? No, I did not go to culinary school. I'm, I'm self-taught, so anything you see me do, you can do too. That is something I want everybody to take away from that. If I can do it, you can do it. Check the steak. All right, let's check the steak, guys. Thank you for reminding me. I rely on you. Here we go. <laughs> what? 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 Hey. <laughs> hey. I am going to try to make lasagna for my grandfather. Like his mother used to make. Do you have any tips? <laughs> <coughs> How to make your grandfather's mother's lasagna. I honestly don't know. We're, we're, just, just an FYI for those who want me to check the steak, we're at 107 degrees, which means I'm going to take it off at about 115 tops. Because that's where I want to be. Uh, I want this is such a thick steak. There's no way I'm gonna overcook it. It's freaking yay thick. I can sear the hell out of it. It's still gonna be medium rare in the center. So that's what I want. I want a nice. I know. I know sous vide is all about uh, getting uh, uh, rare edge to edge, but I like a gradient. I like for it to be absolutely rare in there, and then medium rare, and then you know a little bit of gray up here and I, I, I like that I, I like the textural contrast I like that you're still getting the rare texture in there without it being overwhelming without the meat feeling slippery on your teeth I like that I think that that's a great place to be which is why you know I have a sous vide uh, and two reasons why I don't use that for this episode is that first off most people you know don't have one because it's kind of a specialty thing to have and uh, second off, because I really like the way reverse sear steak comes out. I really think that it comes out really well. Um, so we're getting very close now. We're finally getting close. We're at 107 degrees, which means we're probably 5 to 10 minutes away from searing, which means we're about 10 to 15 minutes away from eating. I heard something funny over there. What do we got? How did you teach yourself to cook? You know so many things about cooking. Uh, Somebody's gay. I'm gay. All right. Maximum zebra. That's cool, man. You know, I respect and admire all uh, forms of uh, whatever. Um, I, uh, I I I just read a lot, and I I you know read a lot of blogs. J. Kenji Lopez, all uh, serious eats in general, was instrumental in learning how to cook. Uh, America's Test Kitchen, um, you know. Cook's country, just all these like mainstays of <clears throat> of modern American cooking. Um, America's Test Kitchen, I think, in particular, is an incredible learning resource because they show you how food works. That's what I'm trying to do here. I want to show you how food works and why it behaves the way it does. And I hope that you guys are are taking something away from this. And um, uh, you know, for instance, we're going to be throwing. Uh, I thought that this was kind of silly, honestly, when I first learned this. That you, when you're butter basting, first off, butter basting, you know, you're, you're, you you got a steak in here. It's under immense high heat, and then you're spooning butter over the top of it. What difference could that possibly make? But the butter, that's the secret to like a great steakhouse steak. It's butter. Like they they butter the hell out of their steaks, and it just adds this whole new level of unctuousness and richness 
And then you add garlic and rosemary to that butter and it imbues the butter with those flavors. It, it just impregnates the butter with those flavors. And I just said impregnates and I know that's going to, that's going to explode right now. Um, uh, and, and, and you're just sort of spooning that over the top of the steak and then you let it rest. You let those, you put those on top, you pour the butter over top. Butter, butter me babish, buttering with babish. Wow, impregnate. Yeah. Is, uh, automated. Oh my yeah. God. Really? Impregnate is automated. Sorry for anybody who's saying impregnate. Apparently it's being caught by the automod filter. I apologize. Am I preganin it? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna check no no, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it two two or three more minutes and then I'm gonna check the steak again. Because we're getting to that point where we gotta start checking it every every relatively frequently because we don't want it to we don't want it to overcook. It's the last thing in the world that we want. It'd be better to undercook it at this point because it, it's hard to oversear. I made I made potatoes earlier. I don't, I don't know if you're around, but I made potatoes as a side, and we're we've been sort of munching on those. I meant to make those to come out at the same time as the rib ribeye, but uh, the ribeye is, is is so thick that it's it's really taking its sweet time in there. Um, in fact, let's uh, let's take let's take a look. Let's take a look. Still in the low, low 100s. We still got a, a, a little ways to go. It's so funny. Every time I check the temperature, it comes up a big, big notch, and then I wait 10 minutes, and then I check it again, and it's in the exact same place. It's funny how it's 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 playing games with me right now. It's playing games with all of us, really. Yeah, no, sixty dollar is is about accurate. That is a, it, it's it's aged, it's prime, it's it's um. That is about a $60 cut of beef. And uh, it's because, hey, like I told you, we're hanging with the boys right now. You're dogging with the boys right now. And it's the boys' birthdays right now. Okay? Dogging we're dogging the birthday boys. Okay? And <laughs> so we're, we're balling out. We're having, we're having skirt steak and we're having ribeye. We're having, you know, potatoes. <laughs> we're balling out. Um, you know what? Actually, I have, I have uh, you know... Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I, I think I might have an idea for an for an activity that might 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 kill some time. to get candles but they were fresh out so we're just gonna have to pretend that there are lit candles on this happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear boys <laughs> dear thick boys happy birthday to you <laughs> happy birthday fellas why, why, don't you, why don't you come? Up? You want to come on for some cake? Sure. I don't want. I don't want to pressure you on. We have a cake here. You know what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat it with our hands. Internet loves things like that. <laughs> All right, guys. I want you to welcome the thick boys. This is Sawyer right here. The, whoa, careful. This is Rashid right here. These are my dear, my closest and my dearest. Welcome, guys. Happy birthday. Big boy bodies. This Big is, boy. Now we're going to go ahead and take the plastic over this. Ooh. Because I didn't make this cake. I was going to make you guys a cake, and then I was like, fuck that. I had a fair way to make this cake. This is a... 
chocolate ganache cake. Hey boys. Hey boys. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thick boys getting thick. Thick boys getting thick. Getting thick on camera. Yeah, what's up? What's up? All right, thick boys. I mean, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> These are prototype gloves sent to me by, by, by a dear friend in London. Be careful. Here we go. Oh, I bit my lip. Mm. Really bad. Mm. Mm. Great, man. Thanks. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> this is, the succession of noises there was incredible. Well... Get it up for the boys, you know? Come on, guys. Dog on the boys. Let's dog on the boys right now. Dog on the thick boys. I want to hear some dogging on the thick boys right now, okay? <laughs> Snorty giggling boys. <laughs> Snorty Birthday boys. Stick. Boys said steak. We ate the steak, man. Steak's gone. Except the new one, which is not gone yet. Has not been eaten yet. Let actually you know what? Good point. Let's uh, let's see let's see how that steak's going, yeah? Let's see how it's going. It's a lovely 70, 70 degrees in this room. It's a very comfortable 70 degrees. Ooh, we're getting close. We are at 111. I want to take it out at 113, I think. That's my magic number tonight. 113. Thick stick. Thick birthday boys. <laughs> cake hands? No, I no, I rinsed my hands. There's no cake hands in the oven glove. I, 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 except he ate the the cake with some uh, with some oven gloves on. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's what you're referring to. It. It's great. Oh my god. Has already been a gift made? It's a video. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling somebody to tune in right now. So I can give them a shout out. That's good. Senrad3123. Who's that? They made a nice clip of uh, the birthday boys. <laughs> Thank you. Said rep three one two three. Great clip of the boys. Cake time. Cake time with the boys. Thick cake time. <laughs> Who's Jess? Who's Jess? Jess Get the fuck out of here if you don't know who Jess is. <laughs> Jess. 
Thank you, Vampire. Thank you, Vampire. What do you do? Jess and the boys! <laughs> Woo! Jess is our mama. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> steak. What, what did they say? Steak weight. Steak weight. Steak weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing a steak. We're just shaking steak the steak. Steak weight. Boom. Steak weight. All right. Jess is a hero. She was the hero of breadcrumbs and of pasta and of um, one of the th of sauce. She was she was really a hero that night. She 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 uh, she made sure that everything nothing was getting burnt. Nothing was everything was cooked properly. Steak weight, not going to be steak. She steak she had weight. the steak weight and she was just like steak staying weight. staying in shape with the steak weight. Can you actually tell them the steak's weight, please? <laughs> you want me to tell you the steak's weight? Yeah. All right. Hang on. Let's see if it sinks them. Is that gonna sink them? <laughs> what sinks anybody in this platform? Check the stick. <laughs> I'm literally checking the stick. Check the stick. I mean, I'm not gonna do this until the steak is done cooking. Oh, I thought, yeah, maybe it's. Uh, it's maybe close. It's, it's close. It's close. It's very, very close. Jess. Yeah, that's sauce. Kind of, yeah, what's it sound the damn label? <laughs> For the love of God. What's it sound the damn label? It's a good it's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. Let me dig through the garbage, find out. It's a goddamn label. It's a it's so thing. It's a okay, right here. Two 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 point two eight pounds. That's what it that's what it weighs, so I can get rid of this. <laughs> 2.28 pounds. <laughs> Wash your hands! Wash your hands! You just no. went through the trash. <laughs> Wash my hands. Wash my hands. Wash my hands. Take that long fist. Take that long fist! Ah! Ah! That was good. Yeah, wash your hands in that fist. <laughs> oh, they're sick. They're sick. Okay, hands are washed after going through the trash. It's like, that's a bad thing. All right, steak's got to be getting close now. Let's take a look. I like where that's at right now. Yeah, one thir what did I say about 113? Look at that shit. 113. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, I tell no lies. I tell no secrets, I tell no lies. Alright. We are searing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. Finally. It's a good thing that you guys are dealing with a bunch of children here because. Good one, good one, good one. Oh gosh. All right, guys, here we go. This is it. We're finally at the apex of the. We're, we're at, we're at the, uh, the the height of the drama. We're searing. We're carving. We're eating. That's what matters in this world. Those three things. We'll take out some more rosemary for garnish later on. It's always a nice thing. Get the nice curly rosemary. Ooh, look at that. That's perfect for garnish right there. Not this guy. Not this nasty little bastard. It's already smelling hot. I want it hot. Leave your cabinet open. Oh, thank you. 
God, eagle eyes out there. Thank you. Cabinet. Cabinet. Hashtag cabinet boys. Open one of those cabinets. Y'all want to see a cabinet? You want to see this? Oh shit! There's some ziplocks in there. We got ziplocks. Taking this guy out for the sear. Oh yeah, see that it's smoking? You can see it in front of my apron there. But it's uneven because of this induction cooktop, so I want to really try and get that heat distributed, oil distributed. There we go. See, it's not even smoking anymore because this induction cooktop is honestly not nearly as even as it could be. Cabinet boys. Yep. Give me, give me some heat. Let's go. Let's see some smoke. Give me some smoke. Ooh, there it comes. There, there it goes. See that? Ah, uh, here we go. I want this smoking. I want this hot. I'm trying to get a crust on this steak. Hot. Come on. There we go. Come on. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. You ready? Okay. I think you're ready. I don't think you're ready. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right, we're putting a crust on one side, then we're flipping, we're butter basting, and then we're gonna sear the fat cap right along here, okay? There we go. Now the oil's pooling around the edges of the pan. So I'm turning it a little bit to redistribute. There we go. Crusty boys. Crusty boys. What does that mean? Just in time, I'm finishing off my new brownie here. Is anybody making this along at home? Who else is making this? Who else is making a tomahawk or a bone-in ribeye or any kind of reverse seared steak? Sorry? Uncle Pay is the Lord. Uncle Pay is the man. I've heard his name a couple times now, only in positive ways. No, not, not always. Really? But um, I also don't believe you figure your walk. Okay, I don't believe me either. But I appreciate so. him. So. This is the internet, so yeah. who knows? Just making a little, making sure a little oil is getting underneath there. There we go. Trying to get a really deep brown crust on that side before we flip. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to preemptively turn down the heat a little bit because once we add the butter, we don't want the butter to burn. So we need we need this to be not quite as hot. So I'm, I'm lowering the temperature because there's plenty of residual heat. This is a cast iron pan, so it's hanging onto that heat. And there's lots of residual heat to go around, so it's going to be just fine. I think we're probably ready to flip here. 
Oh yeah. Look at that. Get a little oil underneath. Make sure it's lubed up. There we go. Now let's start butter basting, guys. Let's do it. Now I'm gonna try and do this towards you so you can see what's going on. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drop a healthy pat of butter in there. And like three tablespoons. Like that. Rosemary, garlic clove. Okay. This handle will get hot eventually. It's not hot right now. For anybody who's curious. Look at that. There we go. That's what I want. And then we're going to let everything cool at the bottom there. Got to get this butter to melt completely. Got to get this garlic to fry up a little bit. This rosemary to fry up. It smells incredible. It absolutely smells unbelievable. There we go. It's starting to get to the point where I can start basting it. That's it's my favorite part is the heat. There we go. This is what we're after right here. A bit of butter based thing. Let's start to heat a little bit. That's the one uh, uh, disadvantage to induction is that if I lift it off if I lift it off like this to show you what's going on. It stopped heating right now because it needs to be in contact with the pan. Heat. Okay, so that's that's a, that's a, a drawback to induction. I'm just gonna do this a little bit. That's right, so on the heat. Look at that crust that we got going there, guys. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous. It's all flavor. That's the Maillard reaction at work. Oh my god. We got just this beautiful thing happening on this side. I just, oop. I just wanted to show you quick. Nothing crazy. This bit of fat cap just came off. Careful now. Just tilt the pan. Let the butter pool at the bottom. And spoon it over top. That is all you gotta do. You're just covering the steak with flavor and fat. What better things are there in the world than those two things? All right, guys, let's uh, let's see the fat cap, and then I think we're uh, we're done here. Let me get right in here. There we go. Get that fat cap nice and cooked. Mm. Oh, the smell of fried rosemary and garlic is just incredible. Turn that towards you, see, see what's going on. A little bit more. This isn't going to overcook it because it's not applying so much heat to the actual center of the meat. Make some room on this cutting board because that's where I'm going to drop it right now as soon as it's done. There we go, I'm happy with that. Put in here, put the heat here, put the garlic, putting it over top, put the rosemary, just give me one last rub down. One final rub down. Looks like the garlic did the same thing. Mm. And the reason I'm not covering this with foil, I know I did it in the video, you can cover it with foil, but because it's reverse seared, like I said in the video, the, 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 the muscle fibers aren't all tensed up like they would be if you just grilled this or if you had just pan uh, fried this, all the muscle fibers would be tensed up and if you cut into them, they would just shoot out juice. And uh, they're not right now. They're all relaxed. They've just been hit with a little bit of heat. And um, 
So if you cut into this, it's not going to lose too much juice, but I do like to let it rest just a little bit. Just five minutes. Not even. And, uh... Ooh, that, see, now it's getting hot now. So... This... I'm just going to dump a little bit of this butter on top. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Plug on that so the fan stops. Get this out of the way. Let's get this ready for plating. Let me get another plate. Go. I'm just gonna let this rest just a little bit longer. It's doing good. It's pretty, and that was it. And now I'm gonna take these off, and not because I'm scared of meat, because I love meat, but because this is still very hot. I'm gonna throw on some gloves because that's gonna help me carve this quicker and easier. So the heat is real. This is a very hot piece of meat right now. But I didn't have to tell you that. Put on these medical exam gloves. So I, don't, I usually don't use these because they're blue. It's a little off-putting. It's a little cl clinical, but uh, my white ones are, are buried in a box over, over yonder. I'm not going to dig them out right now. But these are going to protect me against the heat just a little bit. I'll lift this guy up and carve right along the bone. Like that. There we go. And I like keeping the bone for presentation. There we go. We'll go ahead and just start placing slices down this guy. Oh, mama. <laughs> I mean, let me just show you the inside of that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. It's perfect. It's perfect. This meat, so like that. This is too small a plate for this, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. It's been a long night. We're going to make it work. That's how. That's how this works. There go. And there we go. We have a medium rare. Oops, it's, so much steak, it's hanging off the edge. Medium rare, bone-in ribeye that I'm about to go serve to my boys, to the, to the, to the thick boys. They're about to indulge in some thick, you, you some thick boy look. stuff. Good look? Like, yeah, like closer? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got it. Thick boys. So much steak. Thick boys. What's up, thick boy? There you go. Thick boys. Right there. That's what thick boys is all about. <laughs> Great shot. <job. laughs> okay, guys. That's it. We are done. Um, only an hour late. <laughs> um, thank you guys for sticking around. I can't thank you enough. Wow, the viewership went up 400 people, oh, 500 yeah. people. Uh, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for cooking along with me if you did. Thank you so much for Thick Boys. Thank you so much for Bone Apple Teeth. Um, thank you for Naked Mario. Thank you for everything. I love, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get down on I love for this part. <laughs> guys, I love hanging out with you and cooking with you. 
no matter how crazy and off the rails it gets, but also there's still a, a dialogue there. We still talk about food once in a while, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for, for coming here and, and spending time with me, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to next time. I'll see you guys next time, okay?